Testing, testing. Let's go see how low the mic is. Let's see. Oh. Testing. Testing. Yeah, it's right here. Oof. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. No. I haven't gotten around to watching the documentary for Stellar Blade. I know of it. I just haven't. I'm def desperately trying to play certain games. Uh, I'm trying to play Rise of the Ronin. And when I'm not playing that, people are giving me invites for Helldivers. I can't even get back to Final Fantasy. Because I just don't have enough free time to just dive into it. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a crazy month. I knew it was going to be crazy. There's some other stuff I was supposed to do this month too. But that makes sure my taxes is right. Just trying to like make sure I have time. I just got to split stuff up in the days. Don't, don't want to admit that it's that busy. But it is. Um... I just got around to doing the unboxing for the the DualSense Edge. Big shout out to Afro for the recommendation, and also hit me up uh, with the link for the under the undercarriage part of the um for the the PlayStation DualSense Edge, uh, so that I don't mess up whatever it is there. And it came in red, so big shout out to you. I already added it to my Amazon cart. I'll probably be picking it up next week, not this week. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what that means. True Woody going through that live stream. I got them hoping for a 2024 summer release with a beta shortly before that. A beta for what? What are you guys talking about coming out? Let me get the shout outs out the way. I have to scroll up a little bit later. Mm -hmm. What's coming out this summer? Oh, 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 remind me, remind me to talk about that. I want to talk about that because I think we had covered it. I don't think I have any content on it. I wish I did, but I don't think I do. But I remember covering that. That'll be that'll be a nice topic to talk about. We have sixty two members. Let's get started. Um, we now again. I don't have to remind you guys because we're all adults and everything. But if you do want to subscribe to the channel, you can do it at any time. If you want to become a member, you could do it at any time. But it's best to do it in the beginning of the stream so we can properly give you a shout out. 
So, you know, try to get in the habit if you're new and you haven't made the decision to become a member or subscribe to the channel. Do it in the beginning of the stream so I can give you a shout out with everybody else. Um, Because who knows when our stream is going to get derailed by either news or somebody. Okay. 62 members. First up is Dan S. Brian V. Uh, Seattle Chef. Nova Red. Dadley Pierre, El Nini, Chris Coleman, Zero Skill 3D, Why YouTube Full of, Seven City, Kevin Logan, Fred Vance, Babbling Idiots, Epsilon Eagle, Verge Brizzle, C Fresh 2180, Warlock, Nelson Gaming, Mass Produce, I Man Rich the Swag Lord, J, uh, J Row 49, Dez, Donald Milton, Juice, Briarios, Lost Vein 1045, sorry, because there's a 104 later on, uh, Press Alpha, uh, God Lord Hungry, Quan Emerson, Fishy Queefs, Quest 444, whenever you get a chance, Quest 444, please, I am begging you, find some time in a random picture to replace that blank uh, profile picture you look like a troll and just please just it doesn't really matter what you put as your profile picture but you put something there because i've been looking at it for a lot a long time man like you're using your account you're coming here you're commenting in that's cool but just so we can identify you even easier you know have a profile picture that you don't even have to make content just you know just set up profile picture uh gamer goon 53 ice queen gaming Dynamite J, Uncompetitive, True Witty, Dejon Thompson, uh, DJ D, Mike Johnson, Lost Vein 104, BMO Kelfel, Caution, DJ Clark, Cursed Cow, Renal Blakely, All Day is Good, Sub 24, uh, D Truth 49. Shadow Master, Sick Nick Mondo 16, Rebel Rick Gaming, Lorenzo Carlson, OC Gaming, No Cap Podcast, Viper Reaps Corner, Always Mad Gaming, Cedric, VR God V, Cyber Dragon, Enzo, Caleb Kaiser, and Frostbite Slash. Those are the 62 members of this channel for right now. We're going to go break in and give a short shout out to the last few individuals that left Super Chats. And those people are uh, Vegan VR King, Cyber Dragon, The Claymores, and Frostbite Slash. Once again, Vegan VR King, Cyber Dragon, The Claymores, and Frostbite Slash. Big shout out to you four for the Super Chats and the 62 members that we have on this channel. I'm going to get sh started with the shout outs for the chat. And we can break into our few, first few topics. Um, oh yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't send. Okay, let me at least set set some stuff up for uh, um, that um, who do we got in the chat we got Lorenzo Carlson which I believe is first yeah Loren uh, see how you see this shit Lorenzo is first with two comments Say what's up, uh, J Tech TV, and chat, and then you say, um, "Will you try the first Descendant next beta when it drops?" <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll I'll be there. Um, Lorenzo Carlson is a mod and a member. Be more careful. You're a mod and a member. Mass produces a mod and a member. We got El Nini. You got you are a mo you're a member. Sorry, 
Dadley Pierre. You're a mod and a member. J Row 49. Nice profile picture there. Um, you're a mod and a member as well. Uncompetitive is in the chat as well. He is a mod and a member. Cedric is a mod and a member. I'm scrolling down. Truity is a mod and a member. He has a platinum trophy by his name, by the way. El Nini. Just gave you a shout out. Harlem PS Gamer is a mod. Uh, Luchi Sky is a mod. Cyber Dragon is a mod and a member. We got Ice Queen Gaming. She's a mod and a member. Somatic is in the chat. He is a mod. Um, and I think I didn't miss anybody so far. Okay. Yeah, I think we're all good. So I'm going to send some comparison pictures over to the, the chat. So we could go take a look at that. But before we do that, I'm going to get started with a poll early on. Um, let's see. I pushed the wrong button. I was supposed to do poll, not QA. There we go. Okay. Very easy. What do you support? Woke or sexy? We are going to... Get that poll up. Enjoy voting on that. Oh. Get those two images up. And get this one up too. Uh-huh. Oh, yep. And there's a good comparison. Hmm. There should be another comparison here. Mm -hmm. This could be a lot easier than I thought. Mm -hmm. There's another comparison. Those are not all, but uh, I'm going to go get one more. So I already knew it. I was I was getting those two out the way. And um I think we're all good. I'm gonna just get one more image for good measure. Okay. Okay, let's get started. Got a fresh cut. Got a nice workout today. Not done. Want to do some more push ups and pull some more weights. But uh, definitely feeling much more in shape on the muscle side. I want to do better when it comes to cardio. Um. Who did vote for woke? I didn't check. We'll let that flow so we can make sure I stay t on uh, topic. We're going to go check out the first descendant. I'm going to go to my subscribers 
Because I'm only assuming you guys saw a reminder somewhere on PlayStations. Uh, I need to go watch this. No, you didn't. Because I don't see it. Okay, so where did you guys see the first Descendant? Where did you get that? Also, big shout out to people to hit up my YouTube page for the shorts. I've been seeing some of the shorts blow up. This one has like 2,000 views. And this one's... What's this one? This one's like a 1,800. So, big shout out to the people viewing the shorts. I want to do more shorts and I want to do more individual videos, but that is all based on you. There will be an unboxing video uh, this week. It will be posted while I'm away. I'll have it on timer. Um, so I'll be unboxing the PS5 uh, Edge controller. It'll roughly be like under five minutes. So yeah, have fun with that. Um, the first descendant that game went completely fucking quiet and I know exactly what went wrong with that game and we're gonna talk about that first okay Uncompetitive isn't uh, in the panel. He's muted. Um, or he no, had... not anymore. I was waiting oh. for you to start. Oh, okay. So we're gonna talk about the first descendant. I, I believe, I had covered the first descendant, and I believe that I may have done a video, but I'm not one hundred percent sure. So I'll just check YouTube to see if my video comes up, but I don't 100% remember, but I know I played the damn game. Give me some time. I have to type very slow or the PS5 version of YouTube will skip the word that I'm actually typing. Okay, let's see what we got. No, mm, okay. I thought I I thought I covered it, but I guess not. So we'll just look at some first descendant gameplay. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have posted some. So let's go and get that uh, gameplay. It's been it's been a while now. Like we had some gameplay. It was in like a what a project phase was called Project Magnum for a long time. Um, I think the beta, like, was, I don't know, it was out, what, about six, seven months ago? So, I don't think I had a problem with it at all. Let me watch this one later. I don't think I had a problem, but I know what the problem was. So, let's go get the gameplay, and then we all talk over that, right? This is not just a stop for allergy. Oh shit. This is a great That's loud. And that's a nice long 30 second fucking advertisement. I can do without that. Let's see. Did he mix all the videos together? Uh, I'm trying to see. Wait until he gets out to the grassland. There we go. Okay. Let's talk about the first descendant. If you don't know what the first descendant is, it's a third person uh, co op hero shooter, right? It may be a looter shooter, but I, I don't know. I didn't get a whole bunch of loot, so. Don't quote me on the looter shooter part. It might be considered a looter shooter. It might not be. Just think of it as a third person uh, Asian style destiny. Right? You have different heroes, female and male, that you'll take control of. That have different skills. Um, none of which you know because this is a new IP. They do make the females look very attracting attractive so you know if you're there for that that's awesome um voice acting is there 
English voice acting, by the way, which is pretty impressive. It does seem to have a third, a, a triple A budget, so to speak. Everything looks good. It's a free to play. I think what went wrong was they looked at how many people were playing the beta and they didn't know if either one, they had enough content for the entire world to jump on there and run through similar to what's going on with Helldivers, but they're, they're treating it pretty damn well. And two, um, is it too free? And that's what I think. They, they That's why they delayed it. And they are continuously delaying it. How can... This is the question they're asking themselves. How can we make a lot of money off of this free-to-play triple-A game without turning off the fans, you know, after seeing other people get successful by not doing a lot of microtransactions? You know, and I would be pointing at uh, Pow World and Helldivers. Um, and I've, I've, been, I've been thinking about this, and I, I think I've talked about, to a few people about this. It hasn't really caught on, but yeah, it's a really great production. Uh, it's free to play. Um, you got co-op. I think the character models look amazing. But how do you make your money back without turning people off? That, I mean, that is the, the big question for anybody trying to uh, bring out a new free-to-play game with so many other games, whether paid or free-to-play, to compete with. You know, how do you make your money back? Do you make your money back off of just the hero shooters? Do you nickel and dime the outfits, stuff like that? Like, how do you make your money back? That's the big question. And I, I think that they needed to continuously delay the game to think about that. No, no, true. But this is one of the... True, Eddie. Hold on. Hold on. This... True, Eddie, can you hear me? True, Eddie. I'm looking at him. How you making your money back? I know it's... Then again, that game is actually very, very long. Can this nigga hear me? No, I don't think so. I, I think don't this think. has been the problem when he talks over me. He can't hear No, he can hear you. <laughs> he can hear you. He, he definitely can hear you. Let me see. Uh, I'm not, I'm not I don't want to kick him. I want to just Because I got upset that one time because he kept talking over me. And I got <laughs> True Witty, can you, can you hear me? Why now? You just kill me. True Witty, can you hear me? <laughs> Yes. When you was talking just now, you couldn't hear anybody. No, I I, I turned I turned the freaking I tried to turn the freaking YouTube video um down, but oh, okay. Uh, so while you was while now. you was talking and you couldn't hear me, I was trying to tell you oh, cool. the reason why we're I'm talking about this first is because I have been thinking about why they continue to delay the game. They are continuously delaying the game because they were going to bring this out in the early part of this year. And a lot of devs were yeah. going to do something like that. Like, so, um, I believe um, Star Wars was going to be an early 2024 game, and then it got pushed back. It's like, these devs have to think, how can we make our money back? How do we monetize? And I think this is a great game. Me and you played it. I had a lot of fun. I thought the visuals were beautiful. I, I was really a fan of them having attractive-looking character models. But it's like, how do they make their money back off of something we could enjoy for multiple hours for free and grind through without giving them a single cent? Like, that's the question. And and you have to continue to delay your game if you can't find a, a good balance of making money off of us while also claiming it's free to play. And also, now, there's a new addition without turning us off. Because free to play can turn off a gamer if you nickel and dime them too much or you nickel and dime them the wrong way that's why that's why that's why i was that's why i was hoping it would not have been free to play because it looked way too good to well, me see that's the know. thing they wanted to do that because that's their motive over there you know Chi japan china korea they like they're doing a lot of free to plays lately also um nexus off or whatever their name was they just they decided to not make it a console exclusive for PS5 and they put it on Xbox. 
And you know they're not going to buy the game. So in order for them to make their money back over there, I guess they say, hey, well, let's just make it free to play. I don't think free to play is viable for everybody. Not for everybody. Some, it can work. But this not, not quality is all. way too fucking high. Like, there was, a, there was a day one status by me for Ma uh, Project Magnum, right? Remember? When it was called Project Magnum, I gave it a day one status. It was that fucking good. I don't know what happened in the, the two years between Project Magnum and then renaming it to the first descendant and putting it on Xbox. Whatever happened, they made it a free-to-play game. And I think it still has quality that, I, that people will say, yeah, I'll buy it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me just buy it. No, no, it does. It does, but I don't know why they won't sell it. They want to they wanna put it free to pay, but... Maybe they I have a, a, a fucking pyramid scheme, you know, that can really nickel and dime some, some money out of us. I don't know, man. Like, it's good. It's, good, it's competitive out here. And I would see a lot of developers, if they were planning to have their game in the beginning of the year... They, I definitely believe a lot of them delayed their game without confirming they delayed their game. This was an honest delay. Star Wars was also another delay. It was supposed to come out the early part of this year, not the later part of this year. Uh, there was the last, one the last, other game. The last release date of um, the last Descendants hold was in summer. Yeah, they're not even bringing it in summer. I don't even know when. Uh, well, I mean, you said summer, and then Lorenzo said summer, and then... And then, but I think Lorenzo said the beta is coming out in summer, or is the game coming out in summer? Yeah, yeah. It, he said beta, so like. So another beta. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we don't need another beta. beta. I enjoyed this one. I think I kind of understand think, what I the game's all think, about. Like, I, 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 I think this beta is actually going to have microtransactions. Microtransactions. The contestants. Uh, they still not going to change it though. What they going to do is they're going to introduce microtransactions. They're gonna no, get no, 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 no. they're I gonna mean, get feedback and they're gonna like nah we gotta pretend to change it but we don't change it and then no 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 I I, I think I think what it is is not that they're gonna change the, the microtransaction and like no we're not gonna have our transaction that's not possible but what I believe what they're gonna end up doing is testing whether or not this price is feasible enough for people to not give a shit they could do the they could do the whole um how about this. Uh, and I think and you know, this, you know, I think know, this is know, a great you know, idea. You know, you and start a char you know, charging seventy dollars for a game that's basically free to play. You know, with the uh, games and service, charge half of that. Charge your game at thirty five dollars, and you get the game right. But then you have like all the the games and service aspects, similar to what Helldivers is doing, and even you know like some of the games and service online games. You know, it's not worth seventy, but it shouldn't be free either. Everyone's trying to get their Fortnite, bro. That's that, that's pretty much. No one's, doing. bro. Dude, you can't replicate that. It doesn't really matter. Like you can't replicate that. <laughs> and this definitely looks like a game that won't be upgraded with vehicles. So you know you're gonna be on foot most of the time. Yeah, you're gonna always be on foot. It's, there's it's, no, it's there's no, there doesn't because... seem to be any PVP so far that I saw, or, or wars there. I think there might have been, but I don't know. Uh, no. Was no, there PVP not... for this? No. I think no. I think when once you once you finish the um the beta, you were able to do that. But I I, I didn't finish the beta. Oh, like okay. I think it, it looked like it would have a good PVP. The gunplay is good. It felt good. Um, it looked good. I don't have any problem with it. I think it was very well done. I was just waiting no for had, when I no could play it again. No one, had, no one had problems with the beta. The beta was good. Exactly, and that's the problem. The problem was it was too good, and they didn't know how they could make their money back. If you could just play their game for free and grind through it, and, well, and, and the they can't thing, trick the you into giving them money, has, that's the problem. The funny thing is though, it has. The funny thing is though, it also has a good story. So it's not like it's it's not like it's not. It, it looks it looks like a full triple A game, right? and it, because it was. Look, I'm 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 gonna always and forever blame Xbox, cause it, isn't it fucking funny? As soon as they added Xbox to the mix, this game went okay. free to play. Yeah, cause they can't they can't send it to Xbox. So what, exactly. What, what can they do? They gotta go free to play. Fucking sucks.
I like hey, the man, graveling there's... hook thing. The graveling hook thing is pretty dope. I didn't use the it the enough. Hook, the graveling hook was uh, was always good. There was there was only there was not a lot of places in the open world where you could use it though. Mm. Like here's the thing: it was open world, but it was section based. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like that's why there probably would never be vehicles. Oh and yeah, yeah, that's would... right. Because the graveling hook, you can. There's not a glider or anything on here that I remember. No. No, there wasn't a glider, but that could be that could be implemented though. That yeah, part could be a, a jetpack or something like that. Yeah, that that could be put in there, which is which would be freaking cool. That's I'm a not... solid ass game, bro. What's going on, everybody? Um, these nuts, everybody, all you guys in the chat. What's going on? You really need to change that name. <laughs> but what's going on, everybody? So this is our first topic. Um. The first descendant. Let me know in the chat. Like, have you guys played this game? What do you think of the beta? I love the beta. I loved it. I loved you know, but it was it. too good. And that's the thing. Like, you have a perfect beta and you can't, like, devs, like, well, we can't have it too good because then you guys will run through it and never give us money. And and that's really the scam. And the funny thing is, and the funny thing is don't change the beta was actually like. It was not exactly wasn't functional. Oh, never no mind. It is a looter shooter. Functional. Sorry. I, yeah, it is a looter shooter. I do remember it. Uh, yeah, you, they were dropping a lot of guns and shit, and it was different colors. So give it like a little bit of destiny, yeah. a taste of destiny, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it's, yeah it's a, I don't, it's a I don't know if Nexoff is uh, Korean or not, or is, are they Chinese? You have to look that up. I, I yeah, I, I forgot. I don't know, but I know they're Asian. So, so they're Asian. But uh, it's a dope. It was a great game. Great game, bro. They got a, they got a, they got a little. They, they had a, that twelve days ago. They had the stream, but I didn't watch it. I didn't fully watch the stream. I know he was either but, um, apologizing or crying. The last video I saw, and that was like last week or something. And I was like, okay, then they really, they really can't figure out how to get their money back. Look, a real gamer is gonna play this game and fucking grind. Look at how we playing the Helldivers, bro. We, I, I was on there with uh, Kit Kat and uh, Eric, and we were just grinding fucking samples. We were grinding money. Like here's, here's the thing, though, Jay. That's where that's where the problem comes in. Like, how long will Sony support this if they can't make profit off? Who? Uh, the only reason. Oh, the only reason, the yeah. only reason I say, the only, Hold on. The only reason I say that. So don't get, don't jump on my head. The only reason I say that is, if you can grind out all the micro transactions, so you can, so you can actually get the next battle pass. How many people are paying for the battle pass out of the pocket? I, 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 I understand what you're saying, but the difference between Hell Divers and this is you're getting that forty dollars up front, at least from the console gamers. That's the big yeah, difference, and so any anything else would be extra. But you are you you do get you have an entry fee, so you're getting paid. You know what I'm saying? But this, that is, that is, think about this. Think about this. This game has a bigger budget, and it's free to play. Now, how do they get their money back off of this? Because any gamer, any real gamer can grind. Any real gamer can grind. And I know people are gonna be mad about this, but if you're real lazy, that you're the you're the person they're looking at. Like, oh, okay, you, you'll spend money. But the other gamers, they go like, nah, I'm going to grind it out. I'm going to get this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to play the game. Yeah. I think I think, I think, think what they're going to they're gonna try and do is sell you cosm um, cosmetics. Cosmetics. I and I think, if they're I think if they're sexy or cool enough, people will definitely buy it. I saw some really uh, sexy cosmetics for one of the bunny girls, the techno bunny chick with the, you know, it's her ass all out and stuff. And it's like, hey, if you want that color and stuff, maybe you'll will, you will drop some money in. But I don't... It adds up over time for individual gamers, but then, like, how often are you going to do that? You know, okay. like Helldivers, right? <laughs> the thing is, if Helldivers added more outfits in a quicker amount of time, it will be harder for you to make your microtransactions out in the field and you would have to buy the outfits before they expire out of the store. But they're not doing that. They're only doing two outfits at a time and they've been rotating the first month's outfit and with the addition of second month's outfits that only added two fucking armors. Yeah, so yeah, you, have a, you have a, a long mean? chance to get caught up on the fucking armors on Helldivers versus something like a Fortnite where the outfit may stay in there for like um 
like a, 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 a date, the and then day. it's fucking gone. It's it's more yep. FOMO uh, on Fortnite than on Helldivers when they stay in there for two days and, and there's only that, two outfits. And that's and that's how they make their money because you you go like oh shit if I don't get that now I'm not gonna be able to get it like uh, whenever they bring it back, you know what I mean? And that's where it. it the FOMO comes in because you know if you're not oh, by there, another they're, thing they're gonna mod the like, fuck out of this. Good. They're gonna they're gonna rip those character models. They're gonna find a way to, but they didn't know. I will say they didn't during the beta. The PC but, fans but, but were not able, and maybe because it was online only. But they they definitely I didn't see any modded character models from this, and maybe that's a bad thing because you know PC fans like your game enough they are mod the fuck out. Look what they're doing with Hell Divers. They rip those character models, yeah. bam! They're 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 running around cosplaying and everything. They got the whole files and shit. They leaked the shit out of that game. You know they love that game when they fucking leak and mod. Yeah, but they can't. Yeah, but they can't mod the game. Like yeah, they can't mod, mod the stuff. game. No, no. Exactly. That's that's uh, that's what I'm saying because it's because it's it's an online only game. You can't mod it. But I've seen I've seen I've seen people draw um draw characters of the bun of the bunny girl and the and the mm. other one. People draw, draw stuff from all that. I just think it's a lot of competition this year. It's at least Hell Divers is gonna last a little bit longer. I think depending on the next um, two months of content. They better. Hmm? They better. They better. They better hope. Uh, that the well, I mean, I've, by the time that comes up exactly, but that's don't. all developers. And the thing is, this is a co-op game as well. And if it's good enough, people will want to be on here with their buddies. And it is free after all. I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to be on there. But I, I, mean, I, I, I don't like know, man. Shows, yeah, I, I don't know. We got, we're going to see, you know, we're going to see. Let's go take a look at the uh, first Descendant trailer. I don't want to look at the Xbox version of the trailer, but I'm going to do it because they did put this dumbass game on fucking Xbox for unknown reasons. I mean, I know why. They they definitely paid a good amount. This is the bunny chick we were talking about, similar to Stellar E, but with like a Batman mask looking on and shit, her cheeks are out and stuff. Uh, and, and they're like, hey, you know, yeah, you got the little booty bunny chick. But the thing is, is that enough for you to spend a lot of money on microtransactions to, to like maybe have her in a bikini or so? I don't know, whatever type of outfits we're looking at. Um, this is an expensive game. It's free to play. It's using Unreal Engine 5. Uh, it's online. I mean, it's very expensive. You know how expensive these games are. And the reason why I'm, it is, the other reason why it's expensive is because you, Depending on the customer, you don't know if you're going to get your money back today or, or, or fucking in two years when they say, oh, okay, I'm done grinding. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody uh, in the first fucking day, they're like, ah, I'm too lazy to grind. Let me go give you money. But not everybody is the same. Some people will grind. Other people will be too lazy and they just give you money. And, and that's the that's the gamble with games as a service. Your target audience may be able to outsmart you and you may fucking take a L. It's not about how good the game is at that point. It's about how how often can we trick these guys into giving us more money. And that right there, when I you understand think, that think, that's what free to play is all about, it's pretty fucked up. I think I know what they're gonna do. And I think it's gonna be it's gonna be very, very difficult to pull off. But they're going to have a season pass. Oh, no. They're definitely going to do that. And, and, and they're going to, they're going to, they're going to add, it's going to be difficult to pull up because you don't have like a, you know, you have to do that challenge and stuff like that. What's going on, Alexander to Clifton? To move up the battle pass and stuff. And I don't know. Like, look at, look how tech is it. Why would I never thought I'll see Tekken with a bit of season a battle pass? But they're, it they're fucking they're 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 shitting on Tekken too, bro. Like te I like Tekken and I like what they did with eight. You know, I like the little little lobby area that they created. But after that, they you know, man, no. Street Fighter fell off too when they introduced that lame ass battle pass. 
Battle Pass is not going to make everything better. And it's not always going to make your money back. Some people may look at that Battle Pass and say, yeah, I'm done with this game. You know the, only, the, only, the only thing with, with the Battle Pass is they have the, the problem with, with it is that they're not included. Like, they don't have enough customizations in the customization um section. And they didn't add any of that in the um for um for the battle pass. Really, any of that for the battle pass. So, like, what is the point? Is the real question. Like, what what did you really do? <laughs> everyone I, everyone I spoke to, they said that the battle pass is late. It's late, and with it being so late, they think like, gamers wow. are stupid, and they think that they will find them in a moment of weakness that they don't want to grind. And they will, at that point in time, give them money to easily unlock the content that they want. That is Yo. the scam. Whether your game is free to play or it's a game as a service that you had to pay $70 for, they're waiting for you to say, well, fuck it, I give up. Take my money. Take more of it. And it's not enough gamers that are doing that for all the amount of games that are out and that's why people are going under. That's why games are getting canceled. That's why studios are getting closed down. They all had this same fucking dumbass idea of how to make money. And it's not working for everybody. Because they're doing it wrong. And they're doing it the same way. The, the same way someone else did that failed. You say, oh, wow, that's a good idea. Let me do the same thing you just mine's did. Gonna, mine's going to be better. <laughs> yeah, mine's going to be better. Even though it's fucking the same. Just with a different game. Oh. Hey, you can't make this shit up, man. Play. I I wish them luck. I'll play I'll play it for a little bit when it's free to play, but I don't see me giving them any money. You know, uh, it'll look nice. I'll take a preview look at what the outfits are, but and then after that, it's just like it's just what. At that point in time, you kind of get bored of the same formula over and over and over and over again, because it does get boring. I mean, that's the question right now for Marvel yes, Rivals. Is. How do you sell Marvel Rivals to us without the skins? Every every Marvel Rival character better have skins from all the comic books and movies. And if they don't in the first year, your your game's going to die. I think that even though uh, the uh, Avengers game was dog shit, if they would have had those movie outfits in the first year, or at least in the first couple months, that game would have survived just off of fan service. Out of fan service of just getting to play as your favorite uh, version of that character, guess what? Your game would have fucking hit numbers just out of fan service. You would have made so much money just out of fan service. You added the outfits like a year or two after the game was out or something like that. Yeah, that was that was stupid. The outfits people were waiting for. Then they couldn't wait no more. They left the community. They saw the announcements of the outfit and they said, ah, it's not worth it. You gotta catch people when they fucking care. And that's and that's the and that's the issue. They they they're they're too slow to act. But See, that's the real problem when it comes to live service. It's just that you have you have to you have to be quick. You have to be quick and proactive. And some of these some of these developers are not quick and proactive, and they end up losing the people who are active in the first place. Yeah, the people who are active in the first place, they be, they be, they decide, well, I'm too tired. I'm tired of this. I want to move on because there's nothing there to do. And then when you find do something, they've already moved on and now already got something they're, they're they're interested in. And you are and now you lost someone that you had that was um, stay, well, that was in your interest in this thing. <laughs> Lorenzo, you already know. We getting people out of here. Y'all up here taking different people profile pictures. There's a reason why they don't use my face no more, because they're like, Oh shit, Jay either still look the same or you look way better than me. It's not it's not uh, offensive anymore because he actually getting on camera over there. I mean, I didn't want to get on camera because the information is more important. That's why my little, my, my camera's so small. See how small it is over there? I'm not important. The info is important. Uh, when you take people's pictures and that's just, just lame, bro. That's that's the lamest thing. 
If you're afraid to show your face, keep doing that shit. Mm. These chips taste like game bass. Mm. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know you knew what it. Oh, I know what Game Pass tastes like. I can see. I can see that. You're, you're used to the taste. You want to know you're what it tastes like? Hmm? It tastes like garbage juice. Not really. So you know what garbage juice tastes like? Nope. God damn, Jacob. Yeah, that's what Game Pass is. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know what it tastes like, too. You would subscribe longer than I was. <laughs> <laughs> You were subscribed longer than I, I was, man. Goodness. I didn't know you this had this game will be good. It's an well. I'm looking at the art style. The anime. It's a very anime stylish, um, a Marvel Rivals game, but it's still going to be based on uh, fan service. Um, fans love Marvel comics, right? They don't love it as, as much because they've been fucking up when it comes to the movies and because they're, they're fucking up the comic books, they're fucking up the movies and they're fucking up the shows and they're fucking up the comic books. So the stories that you, you don't like in the shows and the movies, those stories came from the comic books because certain people changed the characters' identities and stuff like that and races and all that. Genders. This game, however, said, fuck all that. We're going to give you what you want right now. That's what it looked like right now. <laughs> I don't know how long a game like this can last if they're not adding outfits from your favorite versions of them in the comic books or your favorite versions of them from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Let's talk about, and we don't see this guy enough in video games, Punisher, which is a game that everybody wanted. So Punisher uh, is right here. This version of Punisher is big as fuck. He is big like a bodybuilder. He's he's a he looked like a fucking tank, right? Tall as shit too. How do you make an outfit based off of the Marvel Cinematic version fit him? It's like just like any other pretty character you um, um outfit. It, it it won't look the same, but I mean I guess yeah. you could do it, but it won't look the same. <laughs> so I don't know I think it's cool but how do you oh, make your yeah, money yeah, back yeah. On, on a hero shooter the best way to make your money back on a hero shooter is outfits I think some people you know, look really good in some of the outfits that they, they have from Cinematic Universe mm -hmm. and Combus, but not everybody yeah. here's the thing you can't do that for this type of thing you can't, you can't do that for this type of thing. Oh, yeah. I, keep, I kept that? talking that was Thor. That's actually Magneto over there. You said you can't do that for this type of thing? So I'm not watching. I'm not watching the stream, so. It, it, Sorry. The stream has no. So. I thought you were still talking about. I thought you were still talking about freaking. Marvel? No. I'm talking about Marvel. I've been talking about Marvel for 85 years. You shouldn't be talking about Marvel for 85 years. Nah, we all need to. Uh, <laughs> uh, Alexa lies as usual. Did Alexa try to tell you what Game Pass tastes like? She don't know. Yeah, she said we taste like strawberries and marshmallows, but that was Oh! That's a fucking lie. <laughs> now, I wanted to talk to you guys about something I saw that I didn't like. And that was the pre-orders. Something happened recently in the pre-orders that really, really did I didn't like. So, Sea of Thieves oh. is number one on the pre-orders for the United States. Uh, and, and Yeah. Yeah. And Destiny 2 is number 2. Now, Destiny doesn't come out until June. And number 3, Stellar Blade. So, Stellar Blade went from number 1 to number 3, right? And after Stellar Blade, oh. there's another version of Sea of Thieves. And then after that, Sea of Thieves is the $130 version of Star Wars Outlaws. And then after that, it's Grounded. 
And then after that is the standard version of Stellar Blade, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's the gold edition of Star Wars Outlaws. And then you have two different versions of Elder Ring uh, DLC and one bundled with the game. And then after that yeah, is the standard. Is yeah. And then after that is the standard <laughs> version of Star Wars Outlaws. My thing is, we go over here to Star Wars Outlaws. And I know people don't like the $130 one. But the question is, how many of us don't like it? Because obviously, people are buying it. Hey man, people wanted to start um Starfield with Starfield and they got actual Starfield. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, go into the stars. So <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. It, it was it, I remember this happening. Uh this happened with um Suicide Squad. Remember? We went to the pre orders yeah. and it was like high. But then we found out it flopped. That, that, so. that doesn't mean that yeah, that doesn't mean that it was sell. Mm. And speaking of sea of speaking of sea of things, apparently that's what Microsoft is 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 betting on to sell well before they bring anything else over. Which that's the that's the rumor that's going around. Well, it's gonna sell enough. They got whatever they said is a lie. They're gonna bring those other games over. They're using that as an excuse for oh yeah, they can announce they oh it's so well we bring the rest over. You were I always know. gonna bring the rest over. No. It, it, it listen, listen. It does. It does. It does not. It does not take a few months to bring um to start pouring the game. You have to have started way back in um, exactly within a year in the past. So so this is it's bullshit. It's bullshit. But <laughs> they're trying. They're trying. They're trying to calm the Xbox like people's nerves a little bit because they're they're frantic. They're they're losing their minds. And um, they don't know what to do to calm them down. So they they said, "Oh no, this is just a test. If they, if it fails, then we won't go any further." I mean, it's still, so they, that kind of, it's that, still out they there calm doing them down. console war shit, though. Yeah, but the thing, the problem is that they calmed their nerves because Crab Gamers said, "I'm glad this. I'm glad this is actually a test because if they, I'm, I want this Sea of Thieves to fail." Because if it fails, we won't, we won't see any more go oh, over. Like, you know, well, you shouldn't um, say that because then PlayStation dudes will actually fucking buy the game just so <laughs> the shit can be successful. So, you know, that's going to be interesting. I'm like, bro, you are one. You tell people not to do something, they're going to do it. <laughs> you tell them to do it, they might not do it. No. I would. I won't do what you tell me to do. I'll tell you. I'll do what you don't tell me to do. You you keep that's telling me to buy. You keep telling me to buy Death Loop. I'm not gonna buy Death Loop. You keep telling me to buy Forspoken. I'm not gonna buy Forspoken. If you let me oh, come around to it myself, market. let me come around to those games myself, and I would have got them. When people keep hyping that shit up. I'm like, yeah, bro. I, I'm all for hype, but I've already decided that something's a certified banger. I'm gonna pick it up. But I'm not. I, I'm I'm too old now to waste seventy dollars based on people hyping shit up. They have no credibility. If you're gonna hype this game up and you were hyping up Deathloop, you were hyping up Suicide Squad. I don't want to hear from you. <laughs> what the heck was happening, Deathloop? A lot of people. You would be surprised. Including Sony. And Sony, oh, yes, Sony, Sony, yeah, had, a, Sony had a marketing deal with Suicide Squad as well. Yeah, and they, that, yeah but that's their job, though. Hey, come on. That's not, I that's not even I can't, I can't trust anybody, bro. That's a good thing. No, that's, a good, but that's not that's not really a fair point. You bring up Sony. Sony has an invested interest. That's their that's their I know, but they knew point. it was bad and they still fucking market it with them. Why? Yes, it was really crazy. bad too, bro. Marvel, it was so Marvel. bad that Sony don't even market the game that they paid the marketing rights to market. They don't even market that shit anymore. That's because it failed. Exactly. It failed and no one's playing it. So why are you going to continue to... Listen, you have to... Sony is, is, is... 
has to be held to a higher standard. You want to know why? Because they're the winner, right? They, need, they, they should. Need, they they know what a banger is. That's all. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say, Truity. They know what a banger is. They decided to support that, and they knew it wasn't a banger. I I wish I could talk to the people that made the decision to say, "Hey, we should fall behind this game." I know one of the major reasons was because they want to slice of the game uh, games of service pie, and they don't have that many games coming out this year. But you can't bet on every horse that you see. And they bet on that horse just because they saw it. And I think they took a major L. They could have used that marketing money to go behind Helldivers. And they could have maybe got even more people to buy the game. Although a lot of people went out and bought the game because of word of mouth, not because of marketing. As I said, as I said though, Jay, they only put their money behind it because it's Marvel. It's not because it's not because they, they thought the game was. How was DC? Marvel. You talk which which Suicide game are you Squad. Marvel. Suicide oh. Squad. I had the marketing. Okay. Uh. Okay, but 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 and but DC has not been in their Marvel. best shape with Gotham Knights and shit like that. Sony knows better. Yeah, I, I, I I don't yeah, think this yeah, will ever yeah, happen Marvel. again. But I think they have a long marketing deal with a lot of WB properties. I don't think yeah, it's just exactly. WB because it was Hogwarts will, as well. They had they a marketing will, deal. They will, do, they will do it again. They know they will do it again. Well, they will do it again. because they I'll have, be right they have there to not buy that game again. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm not Jay, talking you about know, that. Two PS5 box. games took advantage of Epic... Uh, Trailer Spider Man 2 Gliding and Forspoken Rush. What do you say, Jay? You, you know, two PS5 games took advantage of Epic Trailer Spider Man 2 Gliding and Forspoken Rush. What is that? I don't understand what that means. What is that? Is he mean? talking about when I went? Hold on, is he talking about? The um the speed of the SSD when that broke from the um epic game that they showed off the tech demo was flying through the freaking see is that the name what are you talking about the, the um Frey the, the, Rush the, move the I don't I don't know anything about Forspoken so I, I don't know what that move is either way he's ta- I think he's talking about that you know that that them that tech demo for the Unreal Engine five. Where that girl was flying through the um the air at the end after she left the you know temple. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that's what he's talking about when it comes to the speed of the um SSD. Why he say epic? Tra- oh, okay, I get it now. The epic trailer. Okay, I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, it's been so long. I was like, no. not <laughs> all of WB games are gonna hit. Sony marketing has nothing to do with success or failure. Word of mouth goes a long way. Yeah, but they're, I understand exactly what you're saying, but Sony knows what's a good game and what's a bad game. They they should have sniffed something out. And whoever was in the decision-making off um, meetings for Suicide Squad um, marketing rights, if it was Jim Ryan, uh, they were really desperate. Because that's what it sounds like to me. Like they Anybody in their right mind could say, well, see that that game was not going to fucking succeed. Now, this game's going to be interesting. Who's going to get the marketing rights for this? Is Sony going to fuck up? They know what's going on with this, this uh, the Sweet Baby Eek drama shit. The woke drama. Are they going to fuck up? Are they going to do another? And here's another one. Avatar. Uh, uh, Frontiers of Pandora or something like that. You remember that? That was, um, that, that, that was, that was the Ubisoft game. Uh huh. Star Wars is a Ubisoft game, and Sony had major marketing for uh, the Avatar game. So I'm wondering who has the um, marketing for the Star Wars game. I believe I believe it's Sony. I what think they're you? I think they're making these marketing deals too uh, uh, too early to see what the fans ca- uh, think about, and they have to. Worry now, because what we say now goes. Like, if we don't like a game, we find out it's woke, bro. Your game's done. You you should definitely oh, get no. boycotted, and you're gonna lose a lot of money. 
Yeah, they, they still got uh, Ubisoft still got this game up here for seventy dollars. Like people are gonna buy this shit. That shit ain't getting picked up. Not by me. <laughs> Did they ever introduce the multiplayer mode? Multiplayer mode? Mm, I don't know. For avatars, remember it was like multiplayer. People were shooting and shit. Let me see what's going on. Two oh, sure. DLCs for oh, coming. Mm -hmm. Unlimited pack digital book. They did the same thing for Avatar. They had a, a Ultimate Edition for a hundred and thirty dollars. I just think that's a Ubisoft thing now. They 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 think people dumb enough, but not really. Season pass. It's supposed to be a single player, but they had a season pass and shit. Man, my oh, they do have microtransactions. Look at this. Large large pack, medium pack. What's the what's the name of their microtransaction? Base pack, 500 tokens. Oh, they just call it tokens. Wow. Cocky. They don't even have a special name for it. They just call it tokens. Ubisoft I don't think they can put microtransactions in Star Wars, but I wouldn't be surprised if they, they find a way to. Because <laughs> it's Ubisoft. But, uh, yeah, this is, this in my personal opinion, this was a flop financially. Because the Avatar IP is, is fucking hot fire, especially after the way of water. And uh, the fact that this game definitely did not deliver. And they dropped it like a bad habit. They haven't even talked about Avatar in months. And it's fucking April. They stopped talking about that shit um, very soon after it launched. Well, the problem with that game, which I played, is the controls, which are the worst controls of any game I've ever played. Are they worse than Redfall? I've not played Redfall. You should play Redfall. But they were terrible. And I tried changing them, mm -hmm. but you can, you know, using accessibility settings. And, uh... It probably wouldn't let me make them any better. Be more careful, that's what I was saying. This should have came out with the movie. It would have did wonders. Even if it was a bad game, even if the controls suck, this game would have done numbers because it, it launched right next to the movie, bro. Like, they could have made bank. Mm. I had coming. fun in the game, right? But actually doing all the things you can do in the game was like, nah. No, I can't do it. It's I can walk around, I can do regular stuff. If I try to do anything beyond the regular stuff, it's incredibly difficult. Was it good, though? Like, story-wise? I thought if they got the controls different, it would have been like 8 out of 10. But because of the controls being the way it was, it was 4 out of 10. I've never known a game be that affected by the controls being terrible so i stuck with it i tried changing how the controls are set up and it couldn't make them any better so it's a bit of a shame really because i like the game well that sucks It really sucks, and uh, that's not my fault. I'm not taking the responsibility. This, this, you know, two open world Ubisoft games back to back. I'm not saying Ubisoft lost their touch when it comes to open world. They should be the best when it comes to open world. They've produced a lot of them. You know, like the last three yeah. Assassin's Creed were open world. Yeah, Avatar. The problem, the, the, problem, the problem, the problem is they keep they keep reusing the same method. That's 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 the issue. If they would have, if they would change the formula once in a while, then no one would actually, have, no one would actually have a problem. But they keep doing the same thing every single game. It's, it, it, that's why people say they got, they got, they got everything got on a Assassin's Creed template. Everything got a, uh freaking what you call it template. 
the old um I tell the people when you're climbing up, up um, I'm, I bet you're gonna have something where you cl- where, where you are um, where you're on top of a building to see the open the um the map of in, in every um on every planet. Probably. <laughs> Like you're gonna have to do something to 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 see the entire map. That's how that's how Ubisoft works. Well, you know who fought that is? You. I was gonna say Game Pass, but yeah, yeah, it's my fault. Yeah. Mm. Not day, every game needs anything. to be a service-based game or have service-based elements. Just release a fucking game. Um, make sure it's a good game. It doesn't have to be the best, and people will love it. Hell Divers is not the best game ever. It is not, but people love it because they've been given so much dog shit lately. Something low-key and. Uh, let's say lower quality. It's not like a triple A. It's a double A game. It's so new to so many people, and they're having so much fun with this thing. And these big, these big companies like Ubisoft are looking at them like, "Wait up, what? You charging forty dollars and they love you? Why don't they love us? Well, you're charging seventy to one hundred and thirty dollars. That's why. For a game with the same elements that people have already experienced specifically from you, they want something new." I don't know if Ubisoft's going to bring out X Defiant because that was another game. I didn't do content for that, but we should check that out while we're still talking about Ubisoft and games and service. But there's a rumor. I can't confirm or deny the rumor. So Ubisoft, don't be butthurt and try to come after me. Um, But what I will say is that there was a rumor oh, that you. they keep delaying this game so they can keep so they can copy off of other people and what they're doing. And specifically Call of Duty came up. And then the developer after one day of that rumor floating around. They said it, it was not true. But. I mean. This is another game that I played last year with a beta. And uh, yeah, let's go take take a look at some of this stuff. I'm trying to see if we got some gameplay because one thing I remember about X Defiant is that the server got overloaded with Call of Duty fans because it was another game that had a gun and Call of Duty fans wanted to check it out. And they, I think the server kept crashing. Uh, I got stuck at the loading screen with a black screen multiple times. On, uh, I was streaming it on Twitch, and um, yeah, it was it wasn't the best experience. It did look good though, but it wasn't like the best. So this is what it looked like, and if you're looking at it, you're gonna say, "Wow, is that you? You're just showing Call of Duty? That's not Call of Duty. This is Exdefiant." I think the person that that talked about them um, delaying the game so they can keep copying off of Call of Duty. I don't think they're wrong. But you know what? I only have two eyes and one brain. Let's talk to the chat. What do you think? Do you think they copied off of Call of Duty? Ubisoft? Do you think they copied off of Call of Duty with X Defiant? This is X Defiant. This is not Call of Duty. But do you think Ubisoft copied? You guys know I've been on Ubisoft's ass for years about them copying. Right? A lot of people will push back and say they don't. Let me know. What do you think? You think this original? You ever seen shit like this before? I know there's a lot of people that make um, first person shooters. But... Ubisoft has been caught copying off of and taking ideas from different people. Not all out copying like cut and paste, but they've taken ideas from other people. And we know they have. Uh, and they don't oh, give, them, give them credit or anything. They're like, nah, let's see if we can hit goal by taking your idea and shit. That's, but that's Ubisoft. <laughs> ah, shit, my foot. Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm competitive, what's up? Wait, what am I doing? I'm watching it. I ain't gonna lie, this looks like Call of Duty. Um, what it's got, um, At first I thought, it's why is he talking about the game while it's showing Call of Duty? But then I was like, oh, it's, it's it actually is the game. It's got Destiny Health Bars. That's the difference. Oh, Destiny Health Bars, okay. Right, so that's one thing. Um, What do you think they're going to do with it? They keep delaying it. You think they're going to just bring it out and let it fail? Or you think they're going to uh, cancel it? Well, what I've heard about it is that they keep changing it because they don't know what they're after. Yeah, that, that's that's what I was hearing too. They're changing it to like accommodate whatever Dr. Call of Duty is doing. Said he was looking to play it when it came out. Who? I thought Dr. Disrespect was going to play oh. it when it came out. And I thought, hmm, yeah, this is going to be the thing. Is like, what will he think of it? Because he was quite keen to try something new. And he was saying that he was tired of playing Modern Warfare 3. And he was, like, basically sick to the back teeth of it because they had used the same maps that were in previous Call of Duty. And he thought that wasn't good enough. And it, it gets frustrated. I mean, he's a bit performative, right? But he's like... He, he rages out while playing because the maps are the same ones that we've had in the past. He's just bored of being in the same place all the time. So, um, these are new maps, but then they look like they're esports arenas, right? So, um, what's going on, Phil Bosch? That's not exactly. We're just talking about games as a service and how they can be successful. I, I prefer a more like naturalistic that. environment to play a game in rather than a kind of paintball like you know or, or uh, laser tag arena but with your weapons it doesn't it seems to have a bit of an identity crisis about what it's trying to be yeah and and i'll say it because i and i know people are gonna be mad but i'll take the l i'll take the heat for you guys it's a little generic because it, it doesn't it's know generic. what it wants to be, it is very generic. It's generic. It's not got any big idea. Mm -mm. And the thing is, is the finals have come out a while back. Oh, and wow. the final is phenomenal. It is like the best thing since sliced bread. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, why, why would you play anything other than the finals at the moment? That's original. It's doing doing things that and no one wants to do. And you don't want people to think that way. I like the maps. I'll say that. You know, I'm a big fan of attention to detail and realism. So I'm a big fan of the maps right here. Yeah, this is a bit more spread out and outdoor. So this is a little bit better. Mm. They need to yeah, cut the do. arena ones and they need to have bigger maps like this. Mm. That you have to learn. That would be my advice. Cut the small maps. I still I think that. At the end of the day, will it last long enough for Ubisoft to make the money back? No, I don't think there's any real point in buying it. If it ends up on Game Pass, people will play it on Game Pass, but they won't end up buying it when it's about to leave Game Pass, so they can keep playing. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. They got an arcade. That's a W. You see a little arcade, and you got the Dance Dance mm -hmm. uh, 2014. Okay. Is it playable? No, but it's, it's just not, in the game. I love when it might be more fun than the game. <laughs> that's illegal. I like when de uh, developers put like Easter eggs for different games in their game. It's I just mm -hmm. fucking love it. Even you know, though I, I can't stand Ubisoft, driver was but... fun. Yeah. Make another driver game, not mm -hmm. this. I like driver. They're not giving us what we want until we speak with our wallets. They hey, whatever you're trying to give us, we don't want. Then they'll go back to the drawing board. And give us what we actually want. Like I said, that type of U-turn, it might take 5, 10, shit, maybe even 15 fucking years. When it comes to movies and comic books, you finally get that dream movie game, uh, movie where Wolverine meets the Avengers. Like, how long have we waited for Wolverine to meet the Avengers? You know, like, come on, bro. Um, I like this. So, I like this in all games. But outside of that and, and the, uh, how good the map is, it looks like it's a dev studio. It might be Ubisoft studio. I don't know. 
<laughs> but besides that, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it has enough to stand out. And then, obviously, the new Call of Duty is going to wreck shop. So, it will be in their best interest to release this game before they announce the new Call of Duty, which they haven't done yet. They still haven't released this game. At this point, I know that it's on the Mac Huh? We don't know that it's on the Mac I do. I know casuals are stupid and they're going to buy anything with Call of Duty. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think it's going to be a good game. I think it's still going to sell very well. Because casuals buy Madden all the time and Madden's the same fucking shit. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. They, 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 they say that they're going to, um, because they had the time to, um, to figure lot. out. They had the time now. They, they, um, it, it's gonna be the next call. This is gonna be a war. So I don't know how. That's yeah, gonna work. it's still, it's, it's still, way. it's not moving a needle. Yeah, I had to make the single player open world, but how is that even gonna work? You know, I don't know unless, 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 unless each mission you um go on here, they have the big map. Like I'm not sure. Like how that's gonna work because when it comes to Call of Duty, they go all over the world. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure how that's gonna how that's gonna fit. But unless they're just making a whole entire area for the mission. You know, they they were on to something with the beta. And it's the same thing with First Descendant. They were on something, but then I think they got intimidated by everybody else hitting gold. And they was like, are we doing the wrong thing? How do we make money off of these people? And then every day that goes by, it's like... Ah, oh, boy. Got another package. I don't even know what I ordered. I know I ordered that. And I ordered that. What the fuck is this? I'll remember that now. Probably shouldn't have had to brought that, but that's for the sink. Okay. Um, yeah, back to it. Yeah, I feel like a lot of developers are looking at other people's homework that they're turning in and they're seeing they're getting like an A plus and a, a triple A plus and I feel like they're saying, Hey, should we change our our answers? Because, you know, look at how what they answered. I don't think so. I mean, if you thought you were going to get a W of just copying off of, you know, let's say Call of Duty or Fortnite, then just keep doing it. You know, maybe you will. Well, well, all of these devs have to admit that they know they're copying off each other and not everybody's going to hit gold, you know. You know, tiny kids are in the background. When that happens, you just know you're not hitting gold. Hey, Jack, uh, Jay and Chat, uh, just wanted to say, drop by and say, uh, have a beautiful day. Thank you, man. Oh, and happy birthday, too. Funny thing is, funny thing, Seattle, I'm also a twin. Oh, okay. I'm right, a twin. Awesome. Casaria, Casaria. Yeah, I can't wait to get my taxes back. It's something, something more than nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. 
guest cost was real. A real, not real. Is that funny? Yeah. They're not gonna be real. Really? English? So what's your thoughts? What's your thoughts on um Ubisoft games as a service? Do you like it? I don't know. I'm I'm me personally if your game is good but it has those live service elements, but your game is really good, I I'll I'll give you a pass. As long as they're not so forceful and aggressive, you know? But if they're aggressive and your game is bad, and I can see it from a mile away that your game is going to be bad, I'm not going to support your game. But there's enough devs making their, their titles games as a service that I believe that that some of the people that say the game is bad still supporting it with their wallet is sending the wrong message to the dev to continue to make these type of games. And I don't think they should make these type of games, but... They're looking at the money they're making from people and they're like, well, we're not going to stop because even though you hate us, a lot of other people are still giving us money. So we're going to keep making the shit that you don't like until Listen. until everybody wakes up and stops supporting that shit. Like Star Wars Outlaws, like we all have to not support that game for it to send a accurate message to quit this shit and go back to doing what we love. I think it's gonna make enough money for them to say, "Eh, it's all right." It, it it'll flop financially, definitely. It's financially definitely a flop, but I don't, I don't see them stopping anytime soon. They gotta they gotta do better, bro. It's easy. Just listen to us and make money. <laughs> like whatever we want, make it, and then we will pay you. They don't feel it's that simple. That's why they that's why they don't. Well the thing is it's really good that they're losing a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Because now they can understand. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well yeah, but I, I remember X Defiant from back in the day too, like X Defiant never came out and it went through a lot of changes i remember it was like a smaller map based shooter remember and, they, and all the x defiant characters had different like ubisoft outfits on like siphon filter and shit yeah mm -hmm. yeah bro I, I we'll see we'll see I, I look it's ubisoft right they just haven't been good for a while and you can admit it or not admit it and that's perfectly fine but this shit been people been talking about X Defiant for a long time. Eleven months. Eleven months? This shit been talked about eleven months ago, bro. Like let me go see. Let me go see what the Let me see where the announcement trailer is. Two years ago. Yep. I knew I remember this shit. Let me show you guys this shit. You're not gonna believe it. So when Ubisoft say they're not delaying it to copy off of Call of Duty, what do you call this shit? You've been delaying this shit for ten for two years, bro. Going on three years. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look and see what the, the specific uh birth birthstone says. Uh, July 19th, 2021, so that was 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024. That's like three fucking years, bro. Across four years, but it's three years. This year will be a third year that they, after they announced the game. Long ass time. Look at this shit. Two years. Yeah, two. all of this is two years. It's been, it, bro, I don't know how much money a dev um, 
you know, loses when they cancel a game. But I don't know, man. Maybe maybe they should just cancel that shit and, and make something new. But they definitely been delaying this game in order to copy off of Call of Duty. Like, that's... That's really... That's definitely what they're doing. Bro, I think it's going to be worse than Skull of Bones. This shit going to be dead on arrival. Look, they only got a couple more months until the next Call of Duty is announced or teased. And after that, your game's going to look like a copy, even if it's not. Because the way... Let's go take a look at... Let's look at the world the, the world reveal. And then we all look at how it ended up. Because remember, when they showed it off, it was some woke-ass bullshit. Look at this. It was woke, colorful... I remember this shit. Oh no, it still always looked like Call of Duty though. It's like Call of Duty mixed with Advanced Warfare. What the fuck does that mean? Let me look up the definition of that. Best in class definition. Cause like, we're like best in class shooter. Best in class this. Best in class of adjective. If something is best in class, it is the best of its kind. Investors look for a company that's best in class. Yeah, that's that's. Yeah, you 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 not you're not marketing to us then. You're you're marketing it to investors. You're telling the investors, hey, we have the next Call of Duty. Give us money. That does not that does not symbolize as Ubisoft at all. Exactly, and it doesn't mean that the game is going to be best in class for the gamer. Just best in class for the um for the investors if they think they can make their money back by investing in this game. And since we saw this shit about three years ago, across four different years, we've known about this game. Um, wow, and it's still not out. That's what I'm saying. It's still not out. Oh, as the game evolves. Like, if... I can't trust anyone talking about their game evolving if you're not Arrowhead with Helldivers. Because that's what a, a, a evolution of a game looks like. Like, they're actually... The, the world is actually evolving. Yeah, this is, this is Ubisoft's Call of Duty. And it's not necessarily a bad thing. Because I'm a Call of Duty alternative player, right? So, I, I tested this out when they had the beta. Like, no problem. And I can't say that I won't if it's free to play. But, if they try to charge, I'll, 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 I won't be there. <laughs> I won't be there. I ain't that dumb. <laughs> to buy a Ubisoft game day one or pre-order that shit day one, I'm not that dumb. It's like some of the worst parts of Advanced Warfare and Modern Day Call of Duties. And the more you look at it, you understand, like, this ain't going to work for me. People going to be putting up shields and camping and shit. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't it. So, yeah, they made this game during the pandemic. And what I find funny about this is you made the game during the pandemic. And most of the people that make me games during the pandemic already brought their shit out and they still haven't. And that's that's what's suspicious. The game's still in early development. And this was about four years ago. Across four different years. This is 2021. And they're saying the game is still in early development. That shit is wild. And then they had a X Defiant overview trailer one year ago. Okay, look at the earliest trailer that they ever did for what they were doing. I just looked at it. 
No, 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 no. It it goes back longer than two years. They've, they've been working on it forever. It, 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 I know YouTube is telling us two years, but I looked at the date. It says 2021. There's an older one, and I think that it looked quite a bit different from how it looks now. I think I know exactly what you're talking about, but I don't know if there's a video, what the, the video name would be. It had a much busier HUD, and it had all this stuff about, like, being able to look through walls and stuff. And they're actually making an effort of trying to do something different, but it was such a visual mess. I think <laughs> they, kind of got, they, they scared themselves off doing something unique because it's risky, you know? Uh -huh. So they went the other way and they did something generic. If you're a Call of Duty fan, you're going to test this game out, guaranteed. Just, just I'm guarantee. Not. If it, if it's, it's like the the more casual yeah. ones that are just hungry for Call of Duty. If this game was to come out during a stretch period where there wasn't any Call of Duties or they're not any good ones, it could have got some money. Well, I have but, to take you to task on that, right? Because mm -hmm. this is a whole issue uh, with three four three industries. They had a policy, although they didn't say that this was a policy explicitly. But you can see the trend. What's going on, Afro? That they have been copying Call of Duty with every move that Call of Duty makes. So oh, initially, yeah? you look at Black Ops and they copy Black Ops, and that's what Halo 4 is like. And then they go off and they have uh, the Advanced Warfare, and they copy it and they make Halo 5 like Advanced Warfare. And then they, you know, it goes on like that, right? I mean, Infinite Warfare has got a grapple hook, so has Halo Infinite. Right, it's even called it for that. So it's like that they are basically chasing after Call of Duty fans, and Call of Duty fans are quite happy with Call of Duty, and they don't want to leave it to play something else because they'll stop ranking up in Call of Duty if they're away from it for any length of time. They don't want to go off and play the inferior wannabe game. They want to play the actual Call of Duty, and people who want halo for halo and for it to be a halo game like halo one two and three they don't want it to be something different so they're losing out for it imitating call of duty because call um 343 thinks it needs to be like call of duty because it's a, you know they sold a billion copies of black ops right so that made them think oh we've got to make it like that and in and this is the same thing it's like making it at all like Call of Duty, as if it's going to capture that market, is just, a, a, you know, falls out. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I wanted to say. I agree. I agree 100% on everything you just said, man. And it makes so much sense. I mean, they do it. They did with doing it with Fortnite. With all, the, remember all those battle royale clones we were getting, yeah, and they all yeah. were flopping. No, you don't even see a person make a battle royale no more. They know it's gonna flop, but now they've transformed it into well, it's not battle royale. It's not a Call of Duty clone. It's a games of the service. We're gonna bring content to you every, over time. Stay plugged in. Keep giving us money every month, every week, and and just don't worry. The content's gonna come. Just keep giving us money. Don't worry. The content's gonna come. It's like. <laughs> And people are gonna be mad at me about this one. It's basically oh, like an early play. access game at that point in time. Because you're paying to get access and they're building it as they as they go. Am I wrong? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not wrong, but it's a lot of listen, it's a lot of games that people 60 70 dollars for that are very bare bones and they're building it as they go like i've heard a lot of complaints about suicide squad not because it's so woke but because there's a lack of content and they want you to wait every, once a month to get a new season to get mm -hmm. new either new characters or a new mission or go to a new portal to go to a new dimension to fight basically the same type of alien ass enemies yeah but you have to wait each month so now you got joker let's say you ran through that now you you don't have anything for another month 
Destiny was doing something like that. I don't know the state of Destiny. I don't know if they have a lot more content, you know, once a month. But I know they do the same thing. Like every month you get a new yeah. season. Fortnite, every month you get a new season. But some people, people, depending on who you are, you don't give enough that month to last them for the other month. And it's that's the problem. It's just mm-hmm. you're giving them drips of Game Pass juice. Yeah. Um, well, you paid for the expansions. And that's mm. was their way of not charging for a subscription. Now, I don't know if First Descendant could say we're going to be like World Warcraft and we're going to charge a subscription and whether that will work. Um, or whether they say, well, it's going to be cheaper to buy the game than a regular game. It will be $40. But mm. we'll then have like a battle pass which will unlock extra maps you don't have to play on them they're not mandatory but like if you want to have a bit of a change of scenery and go somewhere different and fight new battles against new bosses that's all essentially behind a paywall which will be part of a subscription and then you make it so you swap that around what was in it and so you'll be paying a fee not to get content that would be yours to keep it would be content you would rent and then you'd like pay for access to to view this extra content beyond the mo- the money that you'd spent for the forty dollars for the content you did get to keep and and grind on. So there'd be the area that you're farming, right? And you get materials, you get the place to for your loadout, the hub, all of that stuff you get with Destiny. And then you'd have like other things that you could get to on the map if you had paid for access to it, which would be part of the subscription. But you'd have to make the subscription really cheap, right? Otherwise, people would just go, how much is this game going to be? You know, if it was like $5 a month or less, then they might say, well, that's not really very much. But if you compare it to something like World of Warcraft, the, the cost of subscription to World of Warcraft a month is quite a lot. And you compare the game to the first ascendant and the graphics in first ascendant run rings round old Warcraft. so i yeah. think there is a model there where they could maybe do something where people who didn't want to pay a subscription fee would get a game and it would be cheaper and because they were, didn't have the money for a full price game and were hoping it would be a, a free to play game they go oh well it's only 40. i'll get it at 40. like they get Hell Divers 2 at 40. You know, there's like mm. a sweet spot where there are people who are prepared to pay money for a game that's actually AAA, but it's like, yeah, but it's cheaper, but you don't get, like, the full, you know, range of the game that you would have if it was AAA. And there was actually people with the other day who were complaining about Spider-Man 2 and saying it wasn't as much content in it as in... Yeah, Marvel. and what would have been dope is if... That multiplayer would have came at a a fixture of thirty to thirty five dollars, right? Half of what you pay what, for the, seventy dollars. Yeah, the the, the, the oh, canceled the, the canceled Spider Man multiplayer. Like that, yeah, and and, and the, that would have actually, that would have filled in the gap of emptiness. The Last of Us factions needed to be forty. Yeah, to release that. Is that, that actually, is that actually confirmed though, or is that just no, no? That's just something I would want them to do. Like if you look, no, I mean, if, I'm, well, I'm the cancer spam. Is that actually confirmed, or is that just what? what, what that is the not confirmed from PlayStation, but you know, okay. the, the the Last of Us shit wasn't confirmed until late. So this is all I'm gonna say about that. It's up to whoever it may be to believe it's canceled. It is definitely canceled though, um, because if. They have, like, the entire internet leaking this shit. And no one's taking down a video. And no one's confirming or denying it exists. And no one's confirming or denying that it's canceled. That shit's canceled. Sony ain't the person to just go stay silent while people leaking their shit. You know, even Insomniac didn't comment on this. They commented on Wolverine. They didn't even comment on this shit. I was hoping that there was another uh, Spider-Man multiplayer. What was the name of that shit called? Oh, The Great Web. The Great Web, yeah. The Great Web! 
But it looks good it, though. So you wanna know? You wanna know why they probably? <laughs> you wanna know why they probably fucking uh uh cancel this shit? Cause they looked at the PC people and they were like, yeah, uh, they're gonna just hack this game and mod in the outfits. No one's gonna pay for shit. You can't charge. You can't find a way to charge. Cause they they fucking hack and yeah, leak. But the- yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but it's multiplayer. They can't just. They can't. You put a lock on that shit, bro. Like, why I, so, so, so Okay, scared. let me explain to you. PC fans, um, they've already have mods for multiplayer for Spider Man 2018, the PC port. And if they was to like try to force them to buy this and stay on here and to pay money to get outfits, PC fans would look at them like they're silly, like, cause oh, well, we already have 2018 version. We've modded all the outfits in there. We can play multiplayer on there. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Trying to make somebody pay for something that they already have access to. And if for PC fans, mods... Yeah, I know, but mods mean more than the real thing to PC fans. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they could survive off of mods of something that simulates the real thing compared to, oh, I'm going to pay $30, $70 for the real thing. No, I'll just play this mod for free. And if you're insomniac, like, how do you argue with that? You can't. I mean, you created a monster. So sad. Stupid. So so sad. I think it's stupid. I think it's stupid to um to put your. This shit was leaked out a month ago, bro. This shit is a month old, and insomniac didn't say a damn thing about it. I think they just they've gone past it at this point. It was a day one. I saw this shit and I was like day one. Yeah, so did I. Finally got Gwen Stacy. Finally got Gwen Stacy, bro. Bro. We finally get Gwen Stacy and they say, nope, the shit's canceled. Do you know how pissed off I was about just that fact? That we finally get Gwen Stacy? Bro, that's freaking insane. I'm so fu- I was so fucking pissed. Now I will say, uh, Gwen Stacy. They basically so the illustrations of Gwen Stacy. They give her hips and stuff, but I I did notice the in game model. They didn't have any uh shape. Uh, but they did the illustration of the characters that they gave her her classic hips to kind of basically confirmed that she's a female but uh other than that i, I noticed in game they she basically looks like miles morales but with gwen stacy skin i don't know if it was a deal breaker for them or something they would have to do or i don't know but i think it really ultimately came down to how do we nickel and dime uh people on a game on consoles that they already own and w- with outfits they already unlock. You gotta charge them money to unlock the outfits fair, you have on a single player? Like, that's that's the. That's to, be the fair, to be quite fair, you don't have um, Gwen Stacy outfits. Nope. You don't. So, so you, you, could, you could get us on that, but you can't get us on Miles and, and, and Spider Man. No, 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 but the thing is, the, the, only, the only difference I would say you could actually have gotten away with is. If you buy the character, you can unlock the gum, unlock the outfits as you go along. Like the character is what you buy. Yeah, and that would be nice. And the, but and we you, already know you, that sounds too much like right for devs that do this business model. The whole thing is you get the character, you pay us for the outfits, and that not you, not maybe not me, but other gamers. They would bitch about that. Oh, I already unlocked this outfit in the game. I have this outfit from the single player. Why Why are you charging me again? And it'll be a whole shitstorm of drama. Guarantee. Guarantee. A whole shitstorm. It's stupid to complain because it's a completely different game. If you want, if you, if you want, if you want, if you want the outfit, then play the, play the fucking single player. You have you should have no problem playing the same pick. That's the office you want, but you ain't gonna get no um but if you want if you if you want the yeah, um to play the multi and have those skins, it's a it's a service game. You know, it's gonna cost. Mm-hmm. Like what did you expect when you play a service game? 
You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I, like, today gamers seem to want everything for free, and I don't, and that doesn't work. Like, these are business at the end of the day. A fucking great web. Mm -mm -mm. That's so crazy, bro. Another reason why people say uh, this shit got canceled is because um, Madam Web sucks so much. What? Yeah, some people say because it was connected to Madam I Web. Not. Well, I mean, I'm saying they, that they I listen, 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 account. listen. I'm not saying that it's the truth. I'm saying that some people are saying that's one of the reasons. Yeah, not saying it's the key reason, but it, I they do believe they were trying to uh, connect it. They could have removed the character. There were other characters in the game. It, yeah, I, I don't, it wouldn't have worked because from what I'm, well, from what I saw from uh, a, a number of some of the trailers, I think it was like one trailer. She uh -huh. is a key. Um, she's like the key, uh, the main character to basically explain why this game even exists. Like, hey, we've we've got oh, you guys okay. from the different universes because we need you guys help. Blah blah blah. And she's like the the leader, but she's not playable. You know what I'm saying? So she's gathered these different spider people because there's an emergency. Future, she coordinates your next mission. She tells you what basically, you're going yeah. To do. So she would be a, a key aspect, which is weird because they have not used um her Madam Web. They haven't used Madam Web in such a long time when it comes to like movies and games and shit like that. Like I haven't seen her mm -hmm. since the '90s mm -hmm. cartoons. Um, well, look, what's annoying, right, is the number of people who made videos about Random Web saying it was a terrible movie who didn't even see it, right? And I went to see it, right? Which I didn't think was very good. So everyone's been going hyping Dune up as if it's the best thing since ever, and it's like... This is a reason to go to the cinema, and it's like, well, look, you know, I'm not saying Man and Web's reason to go to the cinema, but it was certainly entertaining, had fun, right? Yeah. And it's better than Morbius, but Morbius isn't actually all that bad either. I mean, it's not great, but it's it's like seven out of ten. Morbius. Afro shopping up a storm, bro. He's about to drop eighty thousand dollars on fucking groceries. <laughs> oh shit. Well look, man. It's subjective, right? Some some people Everyone believe you need to play, play every game to know it's good, and some people believe you need to watch every movie to know it's good. You don't. Sometimes you just fucking know. Have you seen Dune? Dune? No, I haven't seen Dune. Oh, you, you, it's awful. Yep. But I, I, I didn't see it. But long story short, with um, Madam Web, everybody can't be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't be wrong. Or, or Suicide Squad, right? Everybody, the video game, everybody can't be wrong. They're like, no, nah, I'm not picking that game up. Everybody can't be wrong. Like when they all said they looked at the game, we all looked at the game and said that ain't it, and we all skipped it. And then we looked at Hell Divers and we like, yeah, everybody can't be wrong. So like, no, you don't. You don't have to go watch every movie to know it's good. You don't have to go buy every game to know it's good. Sometimes some people have really good um, skills when it comes to perception, uh, and intuition. I, and I can tell you when something's fucked up or something's going to be bad, bro. And I'll, I'll skip it. You might not hear me talk shit. I'll just skip it out of respect. Because I don't want to have to deal with a whole class of fucking people I have to fight of these, 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 you know, fans and shit. So I'll just skip it. Yeah, I skipped Switch. I was like, that that wasn't for me. I skipped Wii. I skipped Wii U. It wasn't for me. I didn't go out there and shit on it every fucking day. But it just wasn't for me. You know. 
It's, and I'm not. Yeah, not I'm every not game is for me, and not every movie is for me. There but, is a difference, like between being a like a consumer of some media, like you're you're a film goer, and you go to the, see one film, they show you the trailers, the previews, and you see some other trailers, and you're like, hmm, I don't think I like the look of that. I don't think I'll go waste my money on that. You know, and that sort of thing, right? You don't then go off and write a review and put it on your YouTube based off the trailer, how you've not seen those movies. It's just between you and, like, trying to filter out and save some money so you go and hopefully increase your chances of going to go and see something good. Right? But what I think is happening with a lot of these videos online is people are, like, saying, what can we find that fits our, you know, channel where we go and attack films that are woke and have got female characters and then are strong female characters because we don't like that because we can make out that they're man hating right and it's oh, just, dear. it's just awful right because they don't give the film a chance oh, okay now, i want to i want to ask you a question you watched it how many times you watched madam webb once okay now, a lot of the pierce went to see it and she made a, a, a video about it, having seen it, and she said it was hilariously kind of banned, right? But she said it was also very entertaining, right? And I thought, yes, you know, that's yeah. okay. I don't take her seriously for any of her takes. I stop. No, I can't do that. Um, she was the same person that said we had nothing to worry about, about um, Cyberpunk 2077 oh, on yeah. consoles, and she never really uh, raised the red flag that it wasn't going to be able to um, be playable on consoles. So I'm sorry, I cannot trust anything she says. Um, uh-huh. Were there like any like relationships besides the girls, uh, sisterhood of the girls? Were there like, did anybody have boyfriends, any love interests, you know, any anything like that in the, in the, in the movie? No, Peter. No, they're they're, they're Peter Parker, Spider Man show up, no, Venom. No, no, it's quite straightforward. It's just, just these teenagers. It's just the like, teenage girls, and and the Madam is, Web. This guy who has a kind of recurring nightmare that is like he sees them in costume in the future, uh, and they are they kill him okay. in the future, and he thinks I've got to get to them before they get their powers and kill them before they get their powers. Mm. Okay. That's all the film is. It's really, really simple. This, I believe this video game could have hit big numbers. Yeah, maybe not everybody would have been convinced to give you money as a game as a service, but if you would have sold it, if you would have sold this game, you would have been making big fucking money, bro. You could have made, and, and obviously you didn't need to use the re, the same outfits. I see that Miles has an orange book bag I've never seen before with orange uh, chucks on. Um, you could have definitely introduced a lot of different outfits, especially again Gwen Stacy. Finally, there's a female Spider Woman, and that could have been a big thing for uh, females. Silk is in there too, but you know, uh, from what I saw from the gameplay, uh, you really only seeing um. Gwen Stacy and then Silk, you see her only in like the the promotional art. Mm. Um, this would have been a big, big deal. This could have did numbers. I think they all they needed to do is cut back on that five player co op and do four player co op. It could have worked, man. Oh man, such a missed opportunity. It it hurts. It, it, it hurts. It's, 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 a, it's a it's a problem because their for the 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 reason for for even doing these multipliers is um is to bring in the PC community. And I'm like, bro, if, if that's your reason and you're and you the reason you're not giving us these multipliers because the PC may not community may not like it, bro. Mm-hmm. That's not a that that's that's a horrible way to run your um your console game division. They have to learn. We've um, we've been saying it so long. If they don't get it now, they are they are never learn, man. Maybe we will see it in the future. Look at that. I mean, they might do another Spider Man movie at some point, and then it'll come out then. Hmm. It looks close to being finished. Isn't there a right? new Spider Man? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Isn't it? Wait, you know what? If they this, this is the thing, there's a new Spider Man um movie at the end of this year. Okay. 
they could bring this game out this year. I don't I don't want to say it's canceled until they officially announce it's canceled, it but it's basically canceled cuz there's no there's no attempt to hide this game. You know what I'm saying? No one's getting copyright strikes for showing it. You mm. know, there's no confirm or, or, or denying it real it's real or exists. It's yeah. just like ah it's leaked. We canceled it. It doesn't matter if you show it. Yeah, yeah. Sony hasn't come forward and said this is now cancelled. Go away now. Mm. But they would they? Done. Like no, how many devs how many devs confirm shit's cancelled? Like I think they are confirmed. No, no, no. If it it's... would be Sony that would say, Don't look at this, it's not happening. And they have done that in the past. So so why are they allowing people to leak it all around the internet? Then? I said before on the previous show that I thought the only way that we got this leak was it came from the developer. And they wanted us to see what they were likely to not be able to release and all the hard work they'd done. And so that would then start a kind of viral thing on social media where we say, please, can we have it? And that would change Sony's mind before they did uh, cancel the game. Well, they did get that. They got that movement a month ago when the game got leaked a month ago. It's literally... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That is my hypothesis. I can't prove it because I don't know anyone who works at the studio. Well, I mean, for a whole month, people were talking about how much they wanted this game. I know they I know. saw that shit. So that, you see, if you, if you don't... Look, it's something of this quality of a trade that doesn't just come out unless they release it, does it? To a degree, but they were leaking I mean, a lot unless of shit. Someone got into their server and hacked them. But well, I mean, were, that, 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 that is were. actually what happened. I mean, they did. No, I, 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 I don't really believe that. You don't well, believe that they, they were. Hacked, remember the Wolverine the shit. Get, oh. no, if they could have hacked the server to get hold of the trailer, they could have hacked the certain server to get the source code. Remember, they got the source code for Wolverine before. Like, this yeah. happened before. They didn't get the game, though, did they? No. No, I'm, I'm talking about them they getting hold of the Yeah, they got the source material. Uh, they got the they got the beta, like, oh, they, not a beta code. They, they, it was playable. They were playing Wolverine. Oh, okay. Yeah, they were oh, playing okay. Wolverine. That's why they were contacting certain people's internet providers and getting them banned from their internet providers for playing that game. It wasn't finished. It wasn't finished, but it doesn't... To a PC... Fa Listen, you don't understand how dangerous that shit is. If they got the source code and they're playing the fucking shit, they could finish it and mod it. And guess what? When they try to sell you that game years later, that individual will say, well, I don't need it. I'm not going to give you the money because I already own it. Mm. You don't make any money off that. No money. Yeah. PC fans are like that, bro. I'm telling you, you guys don't know. You do not know them how I know them, bro. Like, they get a little bit of something. That's enough for them to say, I don't want to pay for it no more. Like, a couple of them told me, I only pirate games because they didn't release a demo. And if the game is good enough, I'll go back and buy it. Come on, man. <laughs> like, these are the people. No, I don't take these guys seriously. They make excuses for their excuses. Well, games as a service or not, Sony shouldn't bank on PC to tell them, like, hey, this is what you should be doing in the future of games and service. Let PC fans tell you and you'll fucking go bankrupt, man. I think that the Helldivers thing is a big, like, random success on PC. I know we had a reason to support the game on consoles, and I know I supported it, but everybody else, I don't know. So long story short, I, I feel like um, at the end of the day, I don't think every single game is going to be successful on PC. Horizon Forbidden West came out, what, two weeks ago or something like that? Flopped on PC. PC fans don't talk about that as an example, 
that Sony should release their games. They, you know, more games on PC because they completely ignored it. I'm going to go to Amazon bestsellers. So if you guys don't mind, just waiting a little bit. The reason why I want to go to Amazon bestsellers is because I'm interested to see what the buying habits are of the American gamers after the PlayStation sale kind of went out, you know, because the PlayStation 5 was being sold at like $400 digital with Spider-Man. And I'm just interested to see if people are still buying the system or did the price go down? Every game gets cracked on PC in less than 24 hours. Exactly. How is a developer supposed to make money if their game is not an online-only game? And that, maybe that's another reason why we have so many games as a service. In order to prevent piracy. Because you can't pirate something if you always have to be online and check in. I don't know. It's sad, but these are things that happen. Nick, you said the whole world has gone mad. What's going on? What's going on with the world? You want to inform me on what you're talking about? Mm. I'm doing a gaming podcast, so I don't know what's going on outside. So I see a blue sky and nice green grass. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, you said Gordon Ramsay's pub was taken over by squatters in London. Hey. And he can't do a thing about it. Oh, he must be pissed. Uh, anything else? Any other examples of the world going crazy? I know it's a lot of crazy stuff going on. I'm not even surprised anymore. I'm not even surprised anymore. I'm not surprised about Game Pass, but you know, here we are. Hmm? Let's go see what these bestsellers are. I like this segment. We haven't done this segment in a while. Let's see. We got controllers. VR headset, a mouse, a keyboard, a mouse, I mean, Game Pass, Roblox, controller stuff, two Xbox controllers at the top 20. At least they're buying their controllers, though. Um, Mario, Mario, Peach, Nintendo Switch at number 20. I think okay. that's all you buy. It's crazy. Another Xbox controller, well, two Xbox controllers. Another headset. I think that's all you buy. It's insane. Uh-oh, I found another controller. Okay. And here we go. The Spider-Man... The Spider-Man um, PS5 console bundle is still in stock. It is still in stock. They still have it at 14 Uh, Sorry, $450. That's pretty interesting. Um... They uh they still have it in stock. I see that the PS5 console bundle is right beside the PS5 uh, DualSense Edge controller. So people are buying the console and buying the controller with it. That's a nice shit. What is that? Four hundred dollars? Five, six, six fifty? Maybe almost seven hundred after tax. Goodness. Um. I don't want to hear anybody bitch about a pro console's price because the way we spend money on games, like, bro, you go spend that money eventually, you know, as a unit. Stellar Blade is on page one, still up there at number 50. Uh, the game comes out later this month, or I think about two more weeks. I'm going to go to page two. Zelda, PlayStation 4 scuff controller. Hmm. Not seeing a lot of excitement. Oh, number 67 is a PS5 physical, and that's 500. Okay, Unicorn Overlord. I like that. Did it drop in price, or was it always $40? I guess, I guess it dropped. Or maybe it was always forty dollars. Okay, the all digital PS five is four fifty, that's a number eighty two. 
Oh shit, Helldivers is still on the top 100 for Amazon bestsellers. It slipped to number 90 now. It was in the 50s last time we checked. The game has been out over two months now, hitting on its third month. And we got uh, some other stuff. Okay. Not bad. I'm not seeing Star Wars. Not seeing Final Fantasy. Helldivers still doing good. Um, both digital and physical PS5 uh, are on the top 100, and one of the bundles is in the top 100. Okay, it's not bad. Let's go see what the PS5 specific section looking like. I can't find the news. Iran just hit Israel with a nuke. Is that what? is that true? Because I thought that nah, can't be true, can it? You sure? They hit, no, that did can't. They hit no, that can That'll that be breaking you. news. I'll be breaking news. Yeah, well, we're not connected to the world news right now, so let me go see. Nuke. Let me just search Nuke on Twitter. Uh, Rabbi advocates for dropping a nuke four hours ago. Nope. That's not yeah, they true. said they said they wanna they said they would um they would they would drop a nuke, but they didn't drop a nuke. <laughs> who dropped a like, nuke on who? Who's who's dropping a nuke on who? No one. He said, it "No one." Iran, Iran said they would. Iran said they would. Okay, the Daily Express twenty minutes ago said that Iran has enough uranium for twelve bombs, hmm. nuclear bombs. They haven't made them, but they say that they could make them, which is the big difference. It uh, seems like people want Iran nuke. So what have they done recently that that causes for a nuke? They um, attacked uh, Israel with drones last night. And how many people got killed? Three. That's it? Just the, three? The um, British Air Force got involved and shot some of them down, and then the Iron Dome dealt with the rest. So the drones killed three need. people, and, and Israel need to be nuked. Okay. Sounds, up, sounds, sounds about right yeah, to me. They, they want to kill every Jew in the world. Goodness. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, all of them. Everyone. Um. I don't know. I think the other day, I think I heard that somebody was going to aim at somebody's nuclear facility or whatever, but I don't know who was trying to aim at whose nuclear facility. I think that Israel is surrounded by a dome. I'm only assuming because they never really come under fire or anything. Or, you what? Know. No, they do all the time. That's why they have the Iron Dome. The Iron Dome protects them. Well, that's what but I'm saying. Not, they never, they like, nothing really anything. gets through that shit. They they get no, bombed all the time by Hamas in Gaza. Mm. Things do get through, but it's not off. It's not often. Uh, how many? So the drone casualties right now, the one that from Iran to Israel is three people. Yeah, three people, and and a few of them. Because, and and from uh, you said, are those home. people from uh, uh, Israel or some of them yeah, from Israel. other countries? Israel. All three of them. Yeah. Okay. You see, the thing is, is there was a general from Iran after the attack, and he's saying, "Well, this is a retaliation for something where they killed one of our people." Oh yes. And oh yes. He said, he, wasn't, he said, "We're done. There's not going to be any more attacks, and we don't want Israel to retaliate on us." And I'm like, uh, "It doesn't work." Like <laughs> This, uh, this is what I'm not understanding. It right is re retaliation's not right if it's the wrong person. It's all right oh if it's the right person. So, did Israel kill any Iran people lately? No, I don't think it was Iran. I think they um they. They, was um, there any bombings power? that uh, a Rand person may have been in a certain area where they were bombing and then that person got killed by a bomb? I don't know much about what caused this. I mean, they, they're claiming I that think, a, a I fire. think they, I think they, um, they, because they said they, they, um, they fired a, um, a, um, a bomb and they killed someone. I'm no, I don't, I don't think the person was from Iran. 
I mean, they, they apologized because they, they said it was an um, accident. They'll look into it. So mm-hmm. I don't know. Israel attacked Iran wow. first, and Iran retaliated with a drone strike. Okay, yeah. so it was it was so, so the person that was killed was Iran was from Iran then. Okay. Hmm. Well, well, you know, yeah, yeah, we'll I figure mean, it out. Yeah. I know, I know that uh, the news was on in the living room earlier, and I know that uh, have to take it they're going crazy October with the UN 7th. and stuff. So, right on October seventh, Hamas, who a terror group that are based in Gaza, came over the border into Israel and massacred a whole bunch of people. Many of them were um, Jewish, right? Some of them were American. Then they took some hostages and went back for the hostages, right? They and still haven't got the hostages. That's been like an incredibly bad atrocity, the worst in years. And oh, they did cut the price. That, two days after that, the social media was like saying, oh, no, no, Israel can't oh, retaliate because that would be terrible people. to the people living in Gaza. Like, they shouldn't even do anything. But then uh, Israel has been doing stuff. And has been being careful to um, not just go in and carpet bomb the whole place, but like they have the capacity to. And uh, uh, but it's very difficult to eradicate the threat of Hamas uh, because Hamas hide behind children and hide in tunnels and things like that. So uh, yeah, but that's why you don't. That's why you don't drop bombs. Bombs, bro. You have to go in on foot. I've always, I've, I've, I've been uh, um, too dangerous to go in on foot uh, completely. It's, too, it's, it's dangerous to go in on foot, but it's also dangerous to drop the bombs. Not see what I'm saying? Because dropping the bombs, it's not. It is for the civilians. Too bad they voted them in. That's pretty harsh. People in Gaza. That's have, not my stance, like, by the way. Hold if hold anybody's hold on, listening, that's not hold my on, stance. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That is not, not my everyone, stance. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Jay. Um, not everyone actually voted Hamas in. There's a section of 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 people over there that did not vote for him and did not want them in power. That's weird. Mm-hmm. So there's a section over there that did not vote him in at all. Yes, I know. They voted for the um for the uh, for the other guy, but the other guy got voted out. But look, if so I was there, is a section right? that wanted him. But no, no one thinks about this straight, right? If I was in Gaza, I would join Hamas. I would go and find their HQ where they had all their munitions, and I'd make it blow up with as many Hamas people as possible and me. Hmm. And that would diminish the threat of Hamas. They wouldn't know that I was going to do that. Now they do. Right? Well, I'm not going to be telling them now, right? <laughs> what I'm saying is, is that that's what they should all be doing. All the people who have a problem what, with what Hamas do should be prepared to sacrifice their lives to like and spy and spy on them and like damage from they within. Work against them. Yeah, yeah but that, yeah, but then that'll be that'll be considered treason, and then you'll be executed. Hamas, um, Hamas. You're going to be, you said, you're going to be blowing you yourself so. up to take out their means of blowing up Israel. Yeah, but you also you also gotta take into consideration they'll consider that treason and if if it's if it's even if they even if they commit suicide to blow up Hamas Hamas um territories, you also gotta take into consideration they'll probably um, Hamas will probably come down on the, on the, on the okay. people who actually I don't have didn't a family. Go. Hey, I, I really don't give two fucks about the war. I just want the bloodshed to end. So how about this? We're done. <clears throat> We're moving to the next topic. Um, no, I accuracy. I don't think it's going to get us anywhere. Yeah. We're not gonna fix the problem well, we're going to get to the next topic. That's that's going to get us to the topic after that. So accuracy and uh, when it came to uh, when it comes to female faces, and the reason why I'm still talking about this because I've I found one topic that was in front of everybody's face that the people that were defending Star Wars refused to talk about, mm-hmm. and I'm not a Call of Duty fan at all. But no, she looks nice here, doesn't she? And no, when it came to her body, when I came to her body, Nicki Minaj did not allow people over at Call of Duty to minimize her butt or her titties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I and I had this theory. Follow me here. Some of the models being used are not 
famous enough or powerful enough to say I I demand that my likeness stay in the game and do not make me ugly or any of that. Yeah. Because some of the models are really just models. They're not like high class models. They're not super famous. You don't know know them all the time. Most of the models we talk about, like they are not that are getting ugly eyes. They are like you wouldn't even know who the fuck they are. But the ones that are looking accurate, like uh, what Kojima, those actresses are award winning actresses and models that Kojima use. You know they they like, and then they have respect for those well, models you enough. To, I say I do. Yeah. Huh? And um, you know the girl Mar Margaret Qualley. Mm hmm. But the one that's but, in your thumb now, Margaret Qualley. Oh she yeah, 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 yeah. She was in the Quentin Tarantino film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but could you, then again, you know, it's a little biased because Asian uh, devs or or you know Japanese uh, Korean devs, they're gonna make sure the beauty of those those females stay there. So it, it, it's a good comparison. It's a bad comparison because this is an American studio that did Nicki Minaj, but Nicki Minaj is fucking high class. She's powerful, right? She is not yeah. gonna say, "Oh, add me in the game," and then I look ugly, and she ain't gonna say shit about it. No, she could be like, "Change me now. I want this. I want this. Add this in there," and they're gonna do it. But I don't think oh, every awful, exactly. But I don't think every model that's used in an American game from an American studio has that type of that can command that type of authority. You see what I'm saying? That says, "Please don't fuck with my likeness." Mm. You see what I'm saying? Well, I, would, I would say that Activision, in general, with the Call of Duty games, when they've taken an actress. That they then use within the video game, right? Like they had the character of Farah. Farah looks like the actress that plays Farah, mm -hmm. right? So they they are faithful to the people, right? So when they came to do her, they were like, I mean, what's the point in having her in it if they don't have a look like herself, right? You're and right. When it comes to like how she's dressed. You, you kind of think, well, that's not really very sensible wear for the battlefield. And it's like the whole thing's fantasy. Don't worry about it, right? And what would she be doing there anyway? Right? In an incredibly dangerous firefight, right? It's just fantasy. You're just playing with, you know, the Nicki Minaj skin because you're a fan of Nicki Minaj, that's all. Exactly. It's a bit like Fortnite in a way. Well... Um, don't I've get me started on Fortnite, but they they try. Okay, but, but I don't buy into yeah. the microtransactions, you see. So um... yeah, Fortnite tries for the most part, but when it comes to the the bodies, uh, and I've said this multiple times, they would never have Nicki Minaj in Fortnite ever because they know they have to have her body, and they refuse to do so because yeah. from their from their excuse, they don't want to sexualize the female, even though the female has a body. Yeah. That they like. Call of Duty was like, oh, well, you don't want Nicki Minaj? Well, we'll put Nicki Minaj in Call of Duty. Huh? Then don't choose these females to put in there then. Why 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 choosing females with shape if you don't want if you want to No, I, want that's change. that's what I hold on, Truity. You didn't listen, but you've been here forever. They specifically go out of their way not to choose females that have shape. That's why they went and uh they got Ariana Grande. Remember that? They got uh, Zandaya. Remember that? They got Lady Gaga recently. They all have one thing in common. They do not have much shape. Mm. So they're specifically only picking actresses and musicians that don't have shape. They were never going to go after a Nicki Minaj or a Beyonce. They can't. I'm saying they cannot because their morals don't let them pick a female with shape. No matter how popular they are. I think they won't Beyonce do it. Is on Fortnite. No. Wrong. No. She's not. Where you get that? Where oh, you get no, that from? No, 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 no. It's Lady Gaga. Never mind. It's Lady Gaga. My bad. Two that's different who, people. And I just said Lady Gaga. Two different people. I just said Lady Gaga. No, no, no. If Beyonce was on Fortnite, I'll be all over that. You would no, know. No, 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 no. I, no, I'm mistaken. I'm mistaken. I'm, I'm mistaken. <clears throat> um. 
Fortnite adds popular musicians and actresses and stuff like that, right? There's a lot of popular actresses and musicians, and they're just not going to make it into Fortnite because Fortnite uh, does not want a female with shape. No matter how popular they are, that would bring more people to the game. They're like, well, we we do this for you. It would expose that we are, you know, basically making all the other females flat, um, which they are doing. So, uh, Megan Thee Stallion, never going to be on Fortnite. Ice Spice, never going to be on Fortnite. Uh, J-Lo, um, Jennifer Lopez, she's never going to be on Fortnite. Beyonce, hey, she's never going to be on Fortnite. I 100% agree. I 100% agree, my, my, my dude. That's exactly what they should have done. You said what? Be more careful, said they should just um, have, allow you to come, create your characters, um, and just add cosmetics as microtransactions yeah but they still wouldn't they probably wouldn't have a slider for a booty and stuff like that and the reason why i'm even saying that because we've just learned that a lot of japanese devs are starting to put those type of sliders in their games specifically capcom they had a a, a titty and a booty slider for oh, yeah. uh for street cool, fighter cool. 6 and dragon's dogma 2 so mm -hmm. and again you want to represent body positivity you see what I'm saying? But you you're not. Wanna, you want to represent body positivity, but you don't want to put body positivity, body, 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 body positivity stuff. In I think Fortnite like, could have had a good version of Lady Gaga. But again, what we know of Fortnite, they would not allow. Sorry, not Lady Gaga. Um, Nicki Minaj. They would not allow Nicki Minaj to have her her traditional curves. Right. So. We're going to go take a look at the traditional curves, if you don't know. Yeah, they did good on her face, but they also did good on uh, her shape. And again, a lot of uh, devs are having a problem with the likenesses of these uh you characters have, you have to have a problem. just be true to true to the character but no you don't want to be true they, to the character. they don't want to Some and they can't they can't figure out why oh well, we know why it's just this whole movement that's going on oh we want to be politically correct you think you just so here we correct. go look at it you know, look at it thing, the funny thing about it the funny thing about all of this though is that they have no problem doing that for the men for the male characters <laughs> Yep. Oh, it's a reflection on her ass because she's she got like the the shiny um leather or whatever on. Oh, <laughs> look. The thing is, they can, they would never allow Nicki. Look, I wouldn't be surprised if Ice Spice, Megan Thee Stallion, uh, and many other female rappers with shape appear on a for uh on a Call of Duty. Because Call of Duty will allow it. Fortnite could have easily got them. But Fortnite's not going to allow them to have their shape. Mm. They're going to minimize the shape. Hey, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Was, some, was, someone, was someone just creeping behind me? Yeah, the they were. Like yeah. <laughs> Now, I don't know how many females got on Call of Duty because Nikki was there, but I know a lot of females were very excited when Laura Croft got there. Now, I will say they did not have they did not have um, Laura Croft's iconic shape. But do you see right here? Fortnite would have a problem with this. Mm-hmm. Now, they oh, don't have a problem with John Cena not having a shirt on in their game or any of the men no. not having a shirt on during the summer fest that they had. But the females were very covered up. They had bikinis and bathing suits, but they were very covered up. All of them had like shawls, like, you know, the little skirt shawls, or they had shorts instead of like a bikini bottom. Um, their tops were like sports bra, not bikini tops. You know, like they went out of their way to like, cover it up as much as possible no cleavage was ever shown in any of the female character models uh for last year's summer event and it's just that's just them they i i i mean you can't talk to me i'm just letting you know like that they, they go out of their way to like hide the, the 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 shape of a female i don't get why but i know there's more than just slim 
females. There's slim, there's like medium, there's thick, there's big bone, there's bigger bones, you know, but hey, they're hey, like, they hey, we one, can't only, do it. You only have one shape. You only have one shape for um for females on Fortnite. Y'all only one shape. Well, they have yeah. multiple shapes on for um for guys on Fortnite. So it's it's, it's Yeah, it's it's it's, 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 it's biased. It's very biased, bro. Very biased. Uh, in Rise of the Ronin, oh, you oh, don't oh, have oh, a oh, new oh, game oh, plus. No, I don't know if I it yesterday. It I don't see it. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't beat the Rise of the Ronin. I can't help you on there. But uh, I'm, I'm guessing you could check somewhere online. And if they don't have new game plus, pretty much like other games, they'll probably add it in later. But yeah, um, that Fortnite proves you can get female faces correct even when they added starlight from um uh the boys they got her likenesses correct so you know you can you can do it you can get it you can get it done man oh they don't they, they don't they, they don't want to do that no there's not a new game plus one second Hello. The hell? Hello. Hello. We're supposed to fill the dead out, are we? Because he's just left without saying anything. No, he did say. He said he'll be right back. Oh, did he? All right. <laughs> you are. You are listening. Uh, <laughs> reading Twitter. Okay. Yeah, he said he'll be right back. Uh huh.
Oh, shit. Hey, have you did you watch did you watch a Fallout TV series? No. I could do, but I haven't bothered. Is it any good? Yeah, but then again, <laughs> I know it's Jonathan again, Nolan. I, I quite like Jonathan Nolan's stuff because he did Person of Interest, and I was a big fan of that. He did he do that um that. What's that? Um, TV, another TV show. Um, oh. Oh, uh, what's that freaking thing called again? Uh, Westworld. Westworld, yes. God, I'm yeah, I'm not that. That. <laughs> oh my God, Game Pass is back. Never, I'm not really that interesting TV series. Really, never it's left. Kind of like a commitment. What's up? I don't know. Well, I, a I commitment just, to just, what? Oh fuck! What are you guys talking about? What? Since I've been gone, am I gonna get? Am I gonna get banned? Hope I don't Nothing get. Really. I hope I don't get banned. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, get, back, uh, back to it. You got. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got a picture. I'm about to go There's get a picture. The Fallout TV series. What about the Fallout TV series? Well, he'd seen it. I haven't. Oh, I heard people say it's good. Mm. Yeah, it is. People say it's good. It's actually, it's actually surprising. It's surprisingly good. It actually, they actually freaking. Did they get? About, did yeah, they I get the looting the right? Because you looting everything and picking up everything. Mm -hmm. Did they loot that? Actually, actually, yes. Yes, you do loot. You do loot. In do there. they loot a lot? Do they loot everything? Not Fuck not everything, but they do right. loot. You loot everything in the game. Mm -hmm. Um, do you, do you pick up bottle caps. True, what do you steal? watch? It? I didn't watch it. You still, you still yeah. bottle caps. She was stealing bottle caps. <laughs> you didn't steal bottle uh -huh. caps. Okay, no. it's, um, it's, 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 it's based on three different characters, and she, yes, she did. She did get a romantic interest in one character. I know everything about the game, uh the movie uh the show man. I'm good. I don't gotta watch it though. Yeah, I, I saw I saw I saw a breakdown. So I know about the romance, I know about all of this stuff, I know about the fun whack. Um uh why do you do what hold on, why do you do all that if you weren't gonna watch it anyways? No, because I was watching somebody talk about it and he already he already talked oh. about it. I was not gonna watch the show ever. Not a Fallout fan of the game, and I'm not yeah. gonna go watch the the show so I can go play the game. I know how that shit goes. Not uh that's not me. That, I'm not talking for anybody you else, True Woody. I'm talking for know, me. That ain't that was not gonna happen. So I'm good. We know, we know you. I I know I know. Let's get back to the topic. Everybody knows I don't fuck with Fallout. I don't fuck with the show. I don't fuck with the the, the yeah. I'm good. Back to no, it. We know. I just wanted to point out. And this is for anybody that goes out and defends a game uh, that I'll, I'll classify as woke or I classify as JTEX not picking up. If I don't pick up a game, that's on me, right? If you want to buy the game for me, that's on you. Other than that, buy the game and you enjoy it. I'm not going to stop you from buying a bad game. That's your responsibility. We're all adults. What game are you talking about now? Any game. Any game that I say I'm not picking up in the future, any game, I don't care what it is, 
it is my decision not to pick it up. And if you keep driving the Force, it will make me not buy the game. You guys saw exactly what happened with Force Spoken. Literally, do not do that. That is a pet peeve of mine for anything. Do not continue to tell me to do something. I will do the opposite. What are you, what are you talking about? I'm now? talking about in general, True Witty. I'm talking about in general about anything. For any game. I don't care what it is. If I, JTAC, decide to buy a game or it's day one for me, is day one for me. I'm not an influencer. I'm not getting paid to tell you to bu- what to buy. I'm not getting paid to trick you into what to buy. Right? So if you're not getting paid to do the same to me, don't even, like, you can recommend something. And when I say, hey, I'm good on it, take it as that. You keep driving the force. I probably never pick that fucking game. I'll never play that shit. It has happened a couple of times in this community. Don't do it. Not to me. I'm good. Okay. Right? That's for everybody true witty. This is a public service announcement. This is not for you. This is not for a reply from you or even uncompetitive. This is a public service announcement. So I don't have to argue with people in our own community for the PlayStation community. This is a public service announcement for everybody. If the shoe fits, it fits. As simple as that, right? If you're not, and and I and I'm a big detail freak. I'm detail freak about water, grass, food, and definitely the character models, which I normally never have a problem with. When they start to change that shit, and they purposely go out of their way to make the uh, characters look ugly. I won't be picking that game up. We know they have the technology to properly scan the the models' faces and make them look good, whether they're male or female. And we have tons of evidence. Everyone has this. If you think you don't have it, take your ass to Google. Right? Just, Just literally do some fucking research. You literally have... What was um uh, uh Mass Effect Andromeda? You have the model, beautiful model. You have whatever they added in the video game. My whole point is, if me or anyone else wants to not buy a game because they know that they're fucking somebody up mm-hmm. by not having their likeness, it's on them. Let them what not buy that game. Trans. Who? This character on the right. No, that's funny. a female. She has a ponytail. That's a female. It's been shared yeah. around quite a bit for a no, few I'm years. Sure either this one or another one in that Andromeda game was trans. Maybe. I don't know if this one was. Because that would be fun. Fa- but you know what? Sure this go, ba- go back to what I said. This model may not be famous enough to like have a say-so in how they use her likeness. And I'm starting to think that Yes, you can be beautiful, but you may not be like uh, Tyra Banks and, you know, demand that your likeness stay in the game or uh, Nicki Minaj. You know what I'm saying? And they can do whatever the fuck they want. And I think that's really fucked up because at that point, why use her as a reference point if you're going to... Exactly, exactly. Why use her? Yeah, why use her at all? There you go. Now, now, I zoomed out, right? I zoomed out. Look at the guy. Now, look look at the guy. Look at left and look at right. Yeah, he's all right. So, they're purposely doing it. And not a single one of you in the chat, if you have a fucking problem with this, fight me. If you have a problem, anybody in the chat, if you have a problem, I will debate the shit out of you. There is obviously a issue going on here. I know and, what it is. And it's on purpose. It's really simple. They're misogynistic. And that's why they're making it only be that the woman is the one that looks worse. When the man is the same as as the model. Right? And they also yeah, make it so the like woman is actually a man that has changed himself into being a woman. Which is mocking a woman. Exactly. Right? So, yeah, that's, that's yeah, that's mocking. I mean, that's, that's they say the um, you can actually have a transgender woman character, right, in the game, and make them look more attractive. 
The the all trans women. Uh, yeah, who, yeah, here, here, here's a here's a thing though. Here's the thing though. If you really want to, if you really wanted to have a um um someone um or a trans woman as a as a as a character, you could have either gotten a trans fucking what you call it. I don't even know the reference for Kate because I've never what, seen the reference yeah, for Kate. If you want to do that? Yeah, you could get a lady boy, whatever, and exactly. scan them in. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Does anybody know the reference for Kate, or was Kate created? Does anybody know if Kate was just created? Was she just created? I really don't know. I don't. I don't think she has a reference point. I'm not sure if they have a reference model for that. Because I think Marcus Phoenix was just created. He he he. he, he, he talking about years of war. Yeah. Because she looked very like I remember the the first version of Kate was very more feminine, but the the new on Gears of War Five they made her more masculine. Like if if somebody man. didn't tell you this was a female, you would think that it's a it's a, like a teenage boy. Mm. Like they're they're going no, look crazy. they're going out of their way to do this, bro. They're going out of their way to do this, and it's a problem. And I can't support that. That's what my that's what myself is trying to do. I can't I can't support it. Yeah, I think I think Kate is fictional as well. Yeah, I don't think that they had a reference point for that. Um, but yeah, this 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 you know just these examples, or you know what we were talking about with Kojima, where he made sure the female had the exact likeness down to the teeth, down to the fucking teeth, bro. Like he didn't skip on the beauty at all. It's a one to one, except for the hairstyle, even the lips. It's easy, bro. I know it's easy. We we like I said, basketball games, soccer games, football games, wrestling games. They get the accurate scan of those guys' faces all the time and they never fuck up. They've gotten better every fucking year. Yep. But a single player female driven game, you cannot capture the fucking face. Why? We're not talking about hair. We're not talking about chess. We're not talking about the backs. We're talking about the fucking face. Like Uncompetitive said, if you're not going to respect them by keeping their face in the game, don't even use them. What's the point of, what's the point of, of, um, of, a, of, a, of a model if you don't use what the, um, what the model is? Like you, <laughs> that's 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 the thing that so, hurts me. Like, me personally, my money will not be supporting any developer that's going out of their way to make somebody look ugly, because that that's I don't I'm not supporting any of that. Sorry, we're, I'm not doing that. You can you can do it. I'm not gonna stop any of y'all. Buy Star Wars if that's what you really want to buy. I'm not here to stop you. Just oh, know no, I won't no, be no, buying no, it with you. No, what? What's the model of um? Oh, what's the model of Star Wars? I've never actually seen it. Keep looking at the screen. When you catch up, you'll yeah, see. That's it. That's her. You might want to refresh the page because I, I do think she's got a bit of the chin thing, but hardly at all. Exactly. They exaggerated the oh, fuck out of that. They really did exaggerate that, didn't they? Yeah, I I think I, they is, didn't get is. the eyes right either. I don't know how that they is, fucked up on the eyes. Is, they fucked up on the nose they, like a bitch. And the well, lips. They, they, made, bro, they, they made her ugly. They made her ugly as and, I, and again, I got another reference point picture if you guys wanted to see. Now, this is the thing. This is the box art version, not the in-game version. The box art version of her looks much cleaner. But mm. we know that's not the in-game version, right? Sadly. Box art yeah. is always gonna look better than the in game, but it it's more appealing than the game version. Well, they're trying to sell the game and the box art, aren't they? Exactly. Mm. So if you're trying to sell the game, why not keep her beauty in there? Makes well, it's absolute... false advertising in a way, isn't it? Yep, it is false they advertising. Don't, they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't want to make the. They don't want to make the females attractive. They got her nose completely wrong, even on the box art. That is not what her nose looks like. Mm -hmm. they, they, as I said, Jay, they don't want to make the females attractive. So again, we go them. back to uncompetitive. If mm -hmm. you if why use her as a face model if you're gonna 
you manipulate the face to the point that you don't even know she's the model. Mm. It is absolutely a waste of her fucking time to stand in front of all those cameras and get scanned. It's a waste of her fucking time. I mean, yeah, she got paid. She got paid. Yeah, but more effort for the animators working at Ubisoft. Yeah, and you know, again, she's a young actress. She's very new, right? Most people don't even know who she is. Um, she may not have so much say that when she go for this job, she's like, oh, it's an opportunity to be in a video game. I've never been in a video g- game before. I'm not going to go out there and bitch about how ugly you made me because that might fuck up my future, um, oh, you yeah, know, sure. opportunities. And, you know, like I said, she's very young and she's very new. So she's not going to do that. And I think they do this more and more with that's why they go and get like a, 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 a low key, beautiful model or actress or whatever, put them in a game. They're not going to bitch about it. Like, hey, I just got a payday. I'm not going to bitch about how ugly you made the version of me. No, no, I'm not going to bitch why about it. Why not just get someone random off the street then if that's the case? Because at the end of the day, you're not you're, you're not trying to make them. At the end of the day, no, they're trying not- to sell the game, which is sad. They're trying to sell the game, but they're still going to fuck the game up. It's weird, right? Mm-hmm. Like, we're associating our game with beauty, but then again, the final product is not beautiful. I mean, it really tells you a story about the game studio if you don't have the skill enough to do a one-to-one accurate uh, accurate representation of the female when, like I said, wrestling games, soccer games, basketball games, football games can accurately oh, do this wait. over the last oh, couple years. No, no. It's not incompetence. It's deliberate. They have the skill to do it correctly. No, no we it's, know it's this. My no. committee, and they're trying to get that. Um, She's 32? She's 32? Well, these headshots were when she was in her 20s, then. Because yeah, these are, je- these are definitely... Oh, it's designed by a committee, and it's oh. ESG. Right? So, definitely. covered it. We don't need to repeat it. And it, I mean, yeah, maybe that's one of the reasons why they say, hey, let's get her. Because she covers the check mark. She's uh, Latino. So... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're like, hey, well, we, can, we can check a box and also check another box. She's independent. She doesn't have a love interest in the game. She only has her cat, aka alien cat. She doesn't need a man. She's fighting all the men. the 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 bad guy in the game is a man, and she's like, she's powerful, but she's not powerful. You know what I'm saying? She like, she's not a Jedi, but she's she can take out stormtroopers <laughs> shit with fluke attacks and stuff. Drop, drop fucking structures. Look, I like enough of the gameplay, right? Yeah. So. The gameplay is not the issue. The gameplay is not the issue. The gameplay is fine. It's the messages behind the gameplay. <laughs> like, the gameplay is not the problem. But to get to the gameplay, you have to see the messages. Which are going to be in the story. And also in the main character that you're going to see in the story. Because their face is going to be in the cutscenes. Mm. You know, like it, they're, it's like they like money, but they don't like money enough. You know? Doing this shit right here, it means you don't like money. You know, it's... I would have rather they, I would have rather they they use a male character. If they're gonna mess up a female like that. Just use a just use a male character. Just exactly male, because male. most male guys models that they are used they they have some sort of one second. They have some sort of uh you know. Most of the actors that they get, um, or model actors, they're basically higher up on the food chain. No, no offense, right? And they're going to speak up. And, and, and those game developers would dare not make those actors look like because they're the selling point. But the females can be the selling point of a game. Her beauty could be the selling point, but they're like, nah, we're not going to do that. You know, <sighs> you you can't make this up, man. She's very beautiful. She's very beautiful. You you can have her be the same and then also have her be beautiful. You can have her be in the Star Wars and still have her be beautiful. The story can be the same. Everything can be the same. They're going to learn the hard way that fucking up her accuracy of the, the representation is going to make people not want to buy the game ever. And they're going to lose a lot of money. Both Ubisoft and Disney. 
Good. So this is a lesson for them and many other people. They're gonna learn. It's right. not. A, it's not a lesson. They're gonna continue doing it. Again, this is another Star Wars game, not by Ubisoft. They had a male actor playing um, the main character, and look at what happened. They made sure they got his likeness correct, didn't they? Down to the jawline. Every aspect of this dude's face was properly fucking scanned into the game. Come on, man. Maybe, so maybe if I if I decide not to buy a game, maybe, you're gonna have to. Maybe they're trying to tell you something. Maybe they're trying to tell you that they like they like men more. You know, that's you, cool. You know. That's I don't really care. The thing is, you're paying seventy dollars for a game, and you can't accurately rep. Uh, you can't your scanners or your technology is not that accurate on faces. I don't want to pay you seventy dollars because you're not doing your job right. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you. See, you, you, the main character you can't even make look like the act actress that you hired. That means you suck at your job. I'm not paying you seventy dollars because you suck at your job, or you're putting some stupid ass SJW messaging in the game. That again, I don't want. If you keep it out of the game, I will buy the game. We buy a lot of games that don't have that shit. Sadly. They, they and now they put that they put that shit out they put that shit out like hundred and thirty dollars oh boy you are you got some balls <laughs> you gotta love it bro you gotta love it um I I don't think they're gonna get the the message uh true any sadly I don't think they're gonna understand until it's like too late and then they're gonna blame yes. the downfall. Oh, they 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 had a map reveal for Marvel Rivals. Let me go check this. Something about Asgard. Oh fuck! Let me stop that. Goodness, man! How many fucking advertisements do we have? I'm getting tired of YouTube advertisements, bro. I got pay the bills, then- right? <laughs> Thought- Hey, hey, Google said, nigga, we're doing this. So oh, this is an Asgard out. map. That looks pretty good. The Asgardian map. Okay, you got some memorable areas. Oh, okay, I remember that hallway. Oh, okay, this is pretty good. I mean, this is glamour, but they got the Idrisville tree. Oh, that's dope. That's pretty dope. It looks good. That looks really good. I feel like I would give this game a chance. I, I got to see what they're going to do with it, though. Yeah, I got to see what they're going to do with it. I don't know if it's free to play or they want us to pay. It's more likely going to be free to play. IGN said, you had us at Hut. So just because Jabba the Hut is in there, IGN saying it's a must buy. Fuck out my face. Fuck out. Fuck it. Get out of here, oh, bro. All, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> He's talking about Star Wars. Um, no, that's good. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, bro. If you if you're gonna if you're gonna um if you're gonna put all that messages in, in the game, it becomes it becomes a problem. And I hate me- But I hate if IGN people. likes the messages because they support messages, it makes sense. I know. And and IGN can suck a dick. <laughs> oh then again. Listen, they can do whatever they want. I don't. I don't care. I, but I don't like the messaging, and I'll stay away from the messaging. Simple as that. I had an argument on um, with someone on 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 freaking because because of um because of, of Stella Blade over, over the messaging. I'm like, yeah. I I I I rather I rather them tell me I rather them tell me tell me a message I, um that I like. So what? Someone thought someone said, "Oh, you must be homophobic if you don't if if you if you like um if you don't if you have a problem with them them forcing transgender stuff in the game." I'm like, "Nigga, I don't give a shit. You want to fuck niggas? In- Pause. You want to fuck niggas in the ass? That's up to you, nigga. 
I don't want to hear that. See that shit, nigga. So I'm trying to figure out if what I'm movie. watching is fake or real. I think it's fake. It's a Smash Brothers clone that has nothing but meme characters, but I'm 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 believing that this is fake because it has Big Chungus, which is Bugs Bunny. But then again, maybe it's not because I think Bugs Bunny might be all open domain. So, um, I don't know. Let me see. Is he, hold on, is Bugs Bunny really open domain? Don't think so, not yet. You don't think Bugs? Let me see. Not nearly, but not. Not for like another five or six years. Then this must be fake. When is Bugs Bunny going into open domain? Public domain. There's a public domain. When is Bugs Bunny going into public domain? Oh, oh, 2035. Oh, wow. 2035. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's far. Mm. <laughs> that's. Well, yeah, I'm, says, I'm says saying 20, um, 20, 30, okay. um, like, So this 25. is fake. I knew I yeah. knew it looked fake. Yeah, it looked yeah. too clean. It looked way too clean. Would be funny though. But that's why I say like PC fans, they might not have Smash Brothers or other stuff. They'll make their own fun, you know? And that's that's the problem. Oh yeah, this is fake. This whole thing was a fake. Uh it's iBox, We Phone, Xbox 720, Bro. Arch, <laughs> PSP, SP. Yeah, this whole fucking oh, thing. Is fake. What is this? April uh, April <laughs> Fools? Yeah, this was on April Fools. They got me. You got me late. I was like, man, I was wondering if it was real. Because look, bro, you never know uh because when it comes to PC they be really having some off the wall type of games. I would not know. I would not know. Like, yeah, I you you know they make all types of games over there. What y'all think about that Joker trailer? We're not gonna watch it, but I'm good on Joker. I I I I I was all right with the first one. I'm not watching the second one. I just you know I'm I'm good. I want more comic book in my comic book movies, and they they they're going after awards, and I'm mark my wor words, they're gonna get a lot of awards. Lady Gaga and, and and yeah, they're gonna get awards, bro. They're gonna get awards. I know a movie that when they make a movie for awards, that's a movie that's gonna dr get a lot of awards, but it's not for comic book fans. So, uh, I really want to get this game called Spine. It's like mm. Sifu, but with guns, literally, but in a bigger yeah, budget, better, actually. better visuals. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Uh, they have a female Joker character world. model yeah, and they he's... made her look all right. So they didn't do crazy. Right. What uh, Suicide Squad should have been with. Article. I know, right? That is not. So that simple. is funny. It is. It is simple to do the right thing, but they don't. Because the thing is, if you put a woman up against multiple targets, right? Mm -hmm. She's not strong. She can kick them in the head and stuff. So you, you give her that move. Mm -hmm. But really, she's at a disadvantage, isn't she? Right? Yeah, against strength. Yeah. But give her guns, much easier. And right? acrobatics so, and a good... Yeah, you've got to have guns. Yeah. And Harley Quinn does have a gun. So it, it does work. But I mean, she also has a mallet. So if she, had I a think mallet, a a, a single mad player, mad. Su um, a single player Harley Quinn video game might have worked better than Suicide Squad if they would have did fan service on outfits and and what you said, you know. Oh again, no, 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 they they would never do fan service for Harley Quinn. That that those they, did. Horrible, they did it. They they gave her her tight black and red outfit. It's not like super tight on her, but they they they. They mm -hmm. fan service doesn't always mean the female has to be slutty. Fan service can no, be for dudes too. It, like you can just, uh, add no, I mean, not, have like each that. of them oh. separate, right? And have have a bit of a game with her, then a bit of a game with you know Captain Boomerang, and then you know so on. Each of them in separate, right? And then have them get arrested and taken to the prison, and then be sent up as a suicide squad on a mission. So you have to play them all separately. And learn all of their ins and outs as you know, like a kind of training mission. But that's and that's what Suicide like, Squad was. That's how you started the game. You had to play it? as each one of them individually, and uh, then and know. then they meet up. 
I was like, okay. Sorry. Yeah. And it was still bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, they didn't give them anything decent to do when they met up, you see. That's the problem. Yeah. Uh, it was I like, don't think in the film... They the never part, really explain or showed... It wasn't that good a setup in the movie, was it? No. So, I mean, in the second movie, it was a bit better with Starfish. The first one, this blue column of light going into the sky is like, yeah, we've done that in about eight movies. People fighting a blue column of light going into the sky. My gosh, man. You know what's funny about all this? It's a lot of Game Pass, bro. It's a lot of Game Pass. Because I'm doing anything. Games used to be different by Asmongold. Marvel used to have stuff like this in their video games. Let me see. Oh, I didn't know um, Rogue was in um, the Deadpool video game. Rogue was in the Deadpool video game? Yeah. Man, this was the one game. Remember, like, Activision lost the rights, and then they had to get all the games out there and stuff. It's crazy, bro. Hey, man, when you suck, you suck. <laughs> Damn, bro. You suck, you suck, bro. Like, you, 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 when you're a piece of shit, you're a piece of shit. Damn, bro. I and, and they can never bring the Deadpool video game back. Even if, like, because Disney's not going to work with Activision to put it back on store shelves. But I heard it was a really good game. You know, I was like, it obviously had the, the the casual bugs and glitches, but it was actually a pretty good game, bro. Damn, bro. Activision has some really good Marvel games, and the saddest thing is you can't play any of them motherfuckers. Like, all of them motherfuckers are gone now. Wow. You can't play a none of them. I mean, I mean, I got a couple. I got um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2 still on my PlayStation, but I'm talking about everybody else that can't play that shit. Mm -mm -mm. That's Game Pass right there. Uh, Harlem PS Gamer said, Joker was trash. The first game, uh, the, I mean, the first movie. It wasn't a superhero movie. I watched it once, but I don't think I'll ever watch it again. Uh, I was very confused about how the Joker met Bruce Wayne when he was young. When in reality, we know the Joker was created by Batman, a.k.a. a grown-up Bruce Wayne. He, he didn't turn into Joker before he met Bruce Wayne. So either he warped his own perception of what actually happened, or that's how they wrote the story for that specific universe. But either way, it was confusing. Since DC had uh, an entire DC cinematic universe happening. And there was already another Joker. So I was very confused at the end of the movie. Um, yeah. There was some really cool parts. But I couldn't recommend it for a comic book fan. Because it was not very accurate. The fact that Joker didn't fall into a vat of acid to get his, his white skin was also a throw off. I, I know that that didn't happen with um, Heath Ledger, but he, <laughs> the way he played Joker was like, you know what? We may not have gotten him to drop in the acid, but this dude's fucking good. <laughs> like he was, he was a good ass Joker, bro. He was a really, really good Joker, bro. <laughs> you said Joker was more of an Elseworlds story, maybe. I don't, I don't, don't really know that much about Elseworld. Helldivers Two loading screen remake. Okay, PC fans always smacking developers in their face, saying that we can do better. It's the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> like the most disrespectful. What do you need to remake the loading screen for? Oh, I see. You remade it with Unreal Engine. 
Okay. And you can tell it's... It looks pretty cool, though, but you can tell it's not. It's not them. Wow. There is not a damn thing wrong with that damn uh, loading screen. What the fuck is wrong with these people, bro? Oh, my gosh. There's a problem. Why can't they? Huh? I'm saying, look, look what I can do. Exactly. Hey, look at all this power. We can do this. We can do that. No, no, they're trying to get a job. They're saying, look, I can use Unreal to make it look like an already existing Yeah, but they're game. not That's even not using Unreal. That's want, the funniest really. thing. They want someone to do something original. Do a Ludum Dare. There was one, like, a couple of days ago. Mm. The theme was summoning. And then the guy on online was, like, saying, I don't want to do a game about magic. So he made it about a court summons. Uh, and you had to work for your boss, and then you first part of the game was you had to shred documents because he was he'd been summoned to court, and then you tried to destroy the documents, and then you had to um, kill off uh, any witnesses that were going to testify against him, and then the last part was bribing the judge. And I thought it was a pretty good idea that he had for his game. Don't know whether he got it done in the time because he only got forty eight hours. <laughs> mm, what's this? But, you know, people can do these things. You know, you get an indie game and it comes out in 48 hours and it's like a bit scrappy, but it's like the idea is there, you know? Mm -hmm. they da they're data mining um, Helldivers every fucking uh, every day at this yeah. point. There's never a surprise because. The PC fans data mine the game every fucking day. I warned you about the big spoiler. The what? I warned you about the big spoiler on your um, community then. So the spoiler for I what? what I won't say what it is. Right. What is the but spoiler for? For what? I can buy what is the spoiler the for? Too, there is a huge spoiler coming up soon. For what? Helldivers 2. Oh, okay. I probably already know what it is. And it, 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 you might know it, but it is if you. Yeah, did you put it in the spoiler section? Because I'll just look at it. In the game. It's better to experience in the game. Yeah. Did you put it somewhere? Did you put it somewhere? No, I, I'm not telling you what it is. Well, yeah, I would like to know. Experience it. With well, you could put it in this. We have a, literally on the Discord, we have a, a section <laughs> called Leaks and Spoilers. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. God damn it, bro! Then what, why tell me that you have a spoiler that you're not gonna tell me about? God, why bring it up? I'm telling you so that you don't find out what it is. Well, it's 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 all 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 right, bro. It's all right. I understand. Okay, so let's move on. I'm just gonna see. Uh, what it's really got? good. It's really, really well done. And I was like, wow, that's the twist. I already, yeah, I probably already know some of the stuff. Let me go see. Yeah, I remember this guy. Yeah, I remember this. This is, um... There was, like, a little robot buddy. Like, a humanoid robot buddy on Helldivers 1. He was in a training area. Uh, on the first Helldivers. He was in your, uh, living's quarters. You actually had a living's quarters. Before you got shipped off the training. And, uh, he was there to, like, give me some tips and shit. It was annoying. And I didn't, I didn't really like it. I didn't like the tutorial at all because I, I think I was playing another game and I was dipping my foot in the Helldivers and I was like, nah, I'm not feeling this shit right now. I'm about to go back to my whatever else game I was playing. But I do remember him. <clears throat> I don't know, like, what he's going to be doing. He's not weaponized at all. So maybe there's, like, a shooting range or something. Maybe we go back to Super Earth for some other training. Because uh, if they're adding him, it just would it just mean you're going somewhere back to training. Because he, if this is the version, like he's not weaponized on this version either. So yeah, there he is, right there. This is a this is the AR uh, one uh, nineteen Liberator. It is perfect for liberating foes. Yeah, he was he was helping you with the tutorial. Yeah. 
if you take a look at this, this is from El Dargis 1. Then we'll take a look at this leak right here, and this is currently from El Dargis 2. Will we be receiving another tutorial? Maybe a weapon range? I am interested in this. We are now going to move along and take a look at some of these brand new objectives. Right here is called the Grinder. And it says Automaton Body Grinder. Reactivate Grinder. Accessing Grinder System. Destroy the Pot Grinders. Destroy Grinder. This is where the Automaton grind our brave soldiers into damn base. Sounds quite delicious, by the way. Oh, yeah, they have been collecting our bodies. I was wondering what they were doing with us. That's very cool. Who knows how far? They're, like, they're data mining us. Seize the civilian satellite towers. Join op joint operation. Retrieve the chemicals. Final assault available. Drive vehicle to drop off location. Oh, that's pretty cool. Destroy. They're, 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 these, yeah. these, these niggas, they're, they're taking the fun out of the game, bro. Just know, movies right? never. Okay. Yeah, like I said, they're data mining the game every day. So, like, they find out shit every day. And, like, they all even get early images that's not even fi finalized. And I, and that's the thing. is like, did they hack into their mainframe? Did they hack into the, the Arrowhead computers? Like, how, how do you fucking get this much information on a game? Like, bro, I know you love the game, but you should pretty much be patient. And just play the game until... The updates are ready. Oh, oh, oh. oh, they can't do that. That's too much. That's that's asking too much. That's wild, bro. Okay, that's, that's not supposed to be wrong with. Ain't got no game. It's crazy, bro. That's I so think it's all. Crazy. I think it's. I think it's all. I think it's all sort of thing that they want. They want to spoil it for, for PlayStation dude, So that's why they do it. <sighs> I disagree. Because most of the people that are spoiling it, they're doing it to be content creators, so they can be the first place that you go to look up Helldivers content. Because I've been, I'm, I'm not getting these leaks from every PC dude. I'm getting it from one guy. That same guy is the guy that's been leaking all the other Helldivers details. And he has the same type of generic AI created uh, thumbnail. Yeah, it's uh, Cloud Plays. Cloud Plays, and then uh, there's another dude named Glitch Ultimate. So when you search Helldivers, their shit comes up first. This is why they leak it, so that their channels are always in the Helldivers algorithm. So if you're ever looking for Helldivers shit, their videos pop up first. So I can only speak from the people that leak the shit that I know of. And I don't ever see PC, normal PC fans leaking shit, because they're not even playing a game. Sony really should strike the channels. Bro. Yeah, I mean, but this again, you don't want to do that because you want their fucking support. And if you take action against them, you show you don't want their support. So you got to keep letting them do this shit. And this is how Sony is thinking. Bro, Sony is that's thinking crazy. like, oh, we can't reprimand them because then the PC fans might not like us anymore. So we just got to keep letting them fuck us over. This whole, this whole. This is what happens when you're a slave to the customer versus when you're working with the customer. You know, they're not they're a slave to the PC community right they're now. So they're so desperate to have um to, to be liked by, by them that they don't they don't care if they're robbed they're being robbed. Hell no. <clears throat> Hell no. Yeah, they they don't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. I can't wait for the vehicles to get here, though. Like, you know, I'm going to definitely be getting back on Helldivers in a little bit. Oh, man, it's, yeah, it's a pretty good time. Um, But, yeah, I won't. Uh, let me give a public service announcement. This Tuesday and this Tuesday and this Thursday, I won't be available, guys. So I'm going on a little vac vacation starting uh, Tuesday night after work, and I'll be back. I think I'll be back in time for Saturday, so I might do a game cast. Don't know what game I'll feature, um, but you might see a game cast if I'm not too tired. We'll definitely do a Sunday show, and I guess people will be feeding me information 
uh, through the week on what I miss, and I'll look over it while I'm on a little vacation. Um, but yeah, I'll be back. But don't expect a, a Tuesday or a Thursday PSL OG. You'll see this live stream, and then you might see a game cast on Saturday, and then another Sunday show. Or it'll be like this Sunday show, and then next Sunday Sunday show. So that that'll probably be what it it'll be like. Yep. Uh, so just a nice little break. Um, I do expect to finally uh, finalize the edit of the unboxing that I just did. So that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm planning on transferring that shit over this evening and just edit a few things. I think that's just going to be a raw unboxing, but I, I will see. I will see what I'll do. Because I kind of want to edit the unboxing video on my phone. Yeah, that's kind of what I want to do. I want to edit the unboxing video on my phone and upload it to YouTube from my phone. So I might actually do that shit. Uh, we'll see. Uh, if I don't do that, I'll just edit the whole shit on my phone and transfer it to the computer and then upload it to YouTube so it can go up by Wednesday. That's kind of what I want to do. Um... I love Helldivers. Spoilers keeps hype coming. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, as long as it's not like full scene, cutscene, spoilers and shit. So I, I, I haven't seen any of those. Uh, but I know of some spoilers that are not that big to me because you still have to experience it, you know. And it was a lot of weapons that they got leaked, but you don't really know what they are do for you in the, the heat of the battle. So getting those weapons are pretty damn good. Um, I'm really enjoying Rise of the Ronin, man. I've, I am really learning about the proficiency of these weapons and I've unlocked my two slots for perks. So now I ha can have two little perks on, um, I have both of my perks set to giving me more experience every enemy I attack. So I'm loving it. Just got to go on Helldivers, see what's going on. I, I'm caught up on all available armors and stuff. I know PlayStation has a sale going on right now. I don't, I could care less. I'm waiting for certain games. And when they go up, I'll be there. Okay, so I got all of this armor. I got the other tank armor. And I got some pretty damn good medals. I, what, I got 49 medals? So... When I get enough, I think I'll just get the exploding crossbow. Get that out the way. And then uh, I'll work on, like, the armor. Cause I I I do kind of want everybody's armor. I'm I'm actually did really good though on this battle pass. Like I've gotten, um, on each battle pass, I I was able to get like so much out the way. You know, I'm gonna keep all the bullshit for the last. Like this cape, this banner, uh, this taunt right here that I don't really need. This gun right here that I may need, but. Right now, you know what? I'll pick this up. You see. know, you know, you know. It's weird. It's weird. They've been giving you a giving us a lot of shotguns. Every single battle pass is out. Is out of a shotgun or something else. Like, well, the first page for the new battle pass is a sniper rifle. The second one, yeah. is a explosive weapon, and then the other one is also explosive weapon, which is a crossbow. So there's no shotguns here. Not for this one. Well, not not the not the, this one, but the last two is all shotguns. See. And obviously a pistol. Shotgun. Like the, I mean, I mean, I'm talking, I'm talking about the primary weapon, by the way. Okay, so page one for cutting edge. That's not a shotgun. That's a, a assault rifle, an ion assault rifle. Uh, page two is a shotgun, and page. Uh, three is a, a ion shot uh, or electric shotgun. So we had two shotguns there, and then steel veterans. 
Page one, assault rifle. Page two, shotgun. Page three, shotgun. Probably trying, try, probably trying to help you out. Shotguns are powerful, and if you're looking at the skill, um, the stats, they can break through the armor depending on the type of shotgun you got, and can make short work of some of these tougher enemies. I mean, when you're out there on the battlefield and you got some tough enemies that just won't go down because your bullets are bouncing off, you're gonna wish you had a shotgun, and you gonna wish you had your favorite type, and that's probably why they're giving you so many. So that you have a lot to choose from when you go out there. Because there, there is a lot of shotguns. But that's one of the reasons why there are a lot of shotguns. Because shotguns can break through. Some of them can break through um, the armor differently. Let me go see what the weapons look like. Because um, I'm pretty sure I did good on my weapons. Let me see. Can you go in your weapon you can count up all the shotguns so we got five shotguns that i have access to um and then i got two explosive weapons so far i got three energy based weapons i have three sniper rifles i have one submachine gun and i have three assault rifles so you have Two more, sh or yeah, at least me. I know there's only three assault rifles so far. At least that's all, uh, that's all I've actually gotten um, so far, anyways. Yeah. I've only got three assault rifles. But one of these assault rifles has medium armor penetration, which is really good, and that's from the cutting edge. One of them's from the cutting edge. That means it'll definitely get, get through some tough armor enemies. And then some of the other ones are just say light armor. You know, that incinerary one from the Steel Veterans is pretty good because it'll burn enemies up and you can get fire damage off of that. So, again, they got five different types because maybe they don't know who you're going to be, but you got to need one of them. You know. Oh, you said there's a, you said there's a, a soul rifle in cutting edge. There isn't. There's an energy base. There's an energy base in this. That's a shotgun. shotgun. It's in my shotgun folder. I'm looking at Hell Divers right now. It's in shotgun. It's called the Slugger. Yeah, I know it's a I know it's a um I know it's a it's a shotgun, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that that's a shotgun. Um and then I think the other one <clears throat> I don't know if the if the is not a spray and pray. No. No, there's two what up? Let me go see. It's one here and one I there. I think has two shotguns. Then I, I might either have uh, acquired one or just... Let me see. Did I get two? Oh, no, no. I didn't get the other one. Okay, yeah, that's right. I didn't get that. I didn't get a lot of cutting edge weapons. Yeah, I didn't get that one. That would have been six shotguns if I would have got this one. The plasma. The plasma shotgun. That would have been my sixth one. Yeah. That's on page two. I didn't buy that. I was like, I already have enough shotguns, and uh, I'm, I'm not using doing. I'm not using electricity weapons right now because they don't seem to really do much. So I'm gonna work my way through this this newest battle pass, and then if I'm you know still have enough time to play Hell Divers and get these medals, then I'll use those medals to get, just sweep up some guns you know that I don't have or save them for the new battle pass. So that's kind of what I did the last couple of days until the new battle pass came out like we were grinding metals until we hit the max and then when a new battle pass came out we just purchased as much as we could for the 250 metals that we had i mean that's the way you play the game man stack up on microtransactions by doing these missions stack up on metals you know make sure you're ready for the next battle pass halfway through the month and we're almost yeah, there's a snapper around there's a snapper around in the new battle pass it's yeah, I got that one. It's, it's only 20 medals. I don't know how good it is, but I got it. I do like my sniper rifles. Let me go check and see what the damage is. Marksman rifle. It does 80 damage. It's the weakest one of the two that I currently have. But it it's medium armor penetration, so that's not bad. The fire rate is very quick. Yeah, the fire the fire rate is quick. Yeah. 
lowers lowers the time taken for extraction. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so if one person's dead and then three people are on the jet, it'll it'll lift off. So you won't they won't wait for the other person to get in or whatever. That looks so good. That's a good looking weapon. I think this is the weapon they said was similar to the Starship Troopers uh, gun. Maybe. Or they they might be adding another one. But I, I know that I heard that there's a Starship Troopers uh, gun that looks basically just like this. Wait, so this is an explosive rifle? Is a assault rifle? I don't know. Um, this R36 Eruptor is a, is a explosive it's not a it's not a rifle it's just explosive i want to test some of these weapons out though yeah so maybe this they do maybe they do bring a shooting range because if that robot's coming back the little buddy robot that means that they're probably going to have a shooting gal gallery which would be pretty dope so they should allow you to test out the weapon before <laughs> But yeah, that, 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 that means they'll probably like have a shooting gallery. Let's see. Damn, I got I got a lot of armor. I got a lot of helmets. I got a lot of a lot of shit, bro. Like I truly do have a lot of stuff right now. Wow, I'm I'm impressed. Battlefield 2042 and Helldivers 2 are my shooters. Okay, Monte White. Jay, I need some help getting that platinum on uh, Helldivers, my G. I don't know what I can do to help, but let me know what trophies you need help with. Maybe I can help. Maybe I can't. So, well, hey, some of the trophies me. you gotta do by yourself. Some of the trophies you gotta do by you gotta some you can do, do by, by yourself, and some oh. it, it, you have to do with another person. So I'm no, guessing. No, no, no. What I mean, what I mean, what I mean is that the one where you have to like you can't shoot your primary weapon, or um, or I think is or or your special weapon. You need someone to do it, but you still gotta not shoot those weapons. You see what I'm saying? You gotta do certain things. Now, take it out of bio That's Everybody easy. has to do that, though. You got to look at the description. I've done that trophy. So if someone else oh, is in, in your in your lobby and they shoot their weapon, it, f it fucks up the trophy for everybody. Er it, the description says Ooh. everybody. Yeah, everybody has to not use their uh, main weapon. It's That's why it's a hard trophy. That's why it's a gold trophy. So you got to finish the mission without um, firing your weapon. And it's it's much harder because um, you have to pick a certain type of mission. And before the update, it was much much easier, and now it's much much harder to do that. No. What difficult mission? Um, I don't know, but it's definitely it's the mission where you have to go and um. You know when you're out, you you basically go down and you got to kill a, a certain number of enemies. That's when I I that's how I got that mission out the way. Oh, where's Myrtle? What did Myrtle leave? Oh my God, you got lies, but you you didn't do Myrtle. Myrtkin. Oh fuck, we got one day and fourteen hours. Can y'all just hold this shit? Goodness. One day and fourteen hours for what? Until the the main objective is over with. When the last time you've been on Helldivers? Uh. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna just break it down to you. We have a new main objective, and then yeah, the I next. Saw, I saw, I yeah, saw but in two days it. that won't be the same one. So I'm telling you something now, but in two days that won't be the case because they're gonna change it. So right now we just have to hold down these planets. And um, after we hold down these planets, for those two days we'll be good. If we don't, then we'll fail. If we succeed, we get 55 medals, all of us. If we fail, we don't get that.
the fire planet is held though no, yeah don't yeah the, the fire tornado planet yeah I probably don't want to do that well shit I guess I'm getting it on tonight yeah I'm just trying to test out uh I'm trying to test out this um build real quick How'd I reply is a little annoying. Some of the trophies are just annoying. Recently got the Hell Dive and Common Sample one by accident. Yeah, yeah, they were. I mean, after they updated the game, the first couple updates, they definitely changed the difficulty and the spawning rate of certain enemies on certain missions, which made some of the trophies I already received much more difficult for people that didn't receive those same trophies. So it's definitely much more difficult to get the same trophies that I got than, you know, than it used to be. So if they had the gold trophies, I would say that they might be a lot more difficult. Um, oh. I'm just going to come in here and help these dudes out. I ain't going to mess with none of them. He probably got the special weapons. And lo and behold, I'm on the fire planet. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to come in here and knock out their fucking uh, missions real quick. Help them out a little bit. That's two right there for me. I'll knock this shit out real quick. Help you guys out. Oh, shit. Somebody's shooting at me. All right, <clears throat> fucking oh, ass. There you go. Let me see. This is whoa. This works. Oh shit! Come on, man. Jay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't have as <laughs> you don't have as much um people watching. Fuck! Before. I know. I don't care. I'm not here for that. Oh, I got him. I got him. Yeah, I, I could care less. <laughs> a gamer guy, a game man. Hey, like, other people would care. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just let me help run in and help these people real quick. A gamer guy, a game. Let me see what's going on with this gun. So this is an explosive weapon. Oh, I went through his legs. Hold on. Okay, okay. It's explosive. Just one bullet. Okay. Kind of like a explosive. Oh shit! Hey, bro, what the fuck? That planet costs you so many samples. Oh man! <laughs> Not bad. I'm out of health. It's a very slow weapon, slow weapon build that I pick right now. Very, very slow. All 
Okay, we all good with that. Let me go up here. Hold on, if you a super eruptor is really good, but if you miss, you die. Hold on, why? <laughs> Hold on, why? You got to read that again. He says the eruptor is super good, but if you miss, you die. Yeah, because yeah, it's, it's very I... it's slow to reload. So when you're reloading, they're shooting oh. the shit out of you. That's why, because you, you're not being able to return fire. And you're 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 up there reloading, and they're shooting the shit out of you. That's why oh, I, I, I don't have any more health packs because I've used them all because it's so slow to reload. It's such a slow build right here. Uh, and I'm about to die right I now. I guess there's a drawback to driving Yeah, they're not got. They're not letting nobody. Uh. They're not letting nobody do any of that shit no more. Where is this last one, bro? Oh, it's over there. My arm bleeding and everything, bro. I'm about to literally, I'm about to like fucking die and shit. If I, I get shot one more fucking time. Oh, fuck. Did I not get that right? Not. Nah. Okay. You wanted to get that last one, huh, buddy? Let me get get this supply, because y'all niggas don't need this shit. My arm broke like a motherfucker right now, though. More liberty! Fuck. Okay, finally. So now, yeah, this is a slow ass fucking weapon. Yeah, I would not recommend re recommend this shit at all. This weapon is slow as fuck. Look out! I'm throwing some heavy bombs. Get out of that area! Get out of that area! Yeah, it's very slow. It's like it's like a a sniper rifle with a fucking grenade as 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 a missile. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's very it's powerful, oh. but it's slow. After every shot, you have to reload. Oh snap! Damn. Yeah. Looks good. Looks cool. Probably can use its thumb to take down those dropships. No, it's not that powerful. I don't know. I haven't really tried that. I'll try though, but I don't know if it's that powerful. I use, I use. Yeah, I, you, I and use you, yeah. I did oh. miss. I just missed my shot. Like this shit is. It's got a. It's it's not a grenade, but it's a. It seems like it's a normal bullet, but it's explosive, and you you can miss that shit. Yeah, you can definitely miss that shit. If you would have returned fire. That would have been it for me. Well, we got some fire Easy. tornadoes in the area. That's killing everybody. That's nice. Oh, I hope I didn't throw the reinforcements inside the fire tornado, but I did. Let me see how this shit goes. Is he gonna, like, spawn inside the fucking tornado and fucking die? Let's see. Do you die right there? Yeah, might, 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 might. That'd be interesting if he does. That uh, seemed like the tornado was moving though, bro. I literally just did something like go wrong. Yeah, I'm about to say, bro. It's crazy. Alright. Okay, once. 
What are you doing later, bro? You getting on a... Uh, oh, shit. Did he fall through the ground? I'm going I'm to I'm try and get some fun and fancy and get right now. I play some fun and fancy. Fuck. I found the fucking launch codes. They were almost glitched. I think somebody fell through the ground. Yeah, he fell through the ground. I hope I'm not playing with no PC players because I have crossplay off. Oh, I'm getting lit up. I'm getting lit up. I don't uh, know what happened. <laughs> you getting lit up. You need cover fire. Oh, I got the launch codes. Uh, somebody dropped their samples over here. I feel like I'm carrying these dudes right now. What? How your samples get caught in the cage over here? How, how did that even happen? Somebody's glitching, bro. They glitching out bad, man. They glitching out bad yeah, over here. Yeah, it's not good. Cause they they falling through maps and some more shit. I've had people. I've had people um um throw me into a freaking like waterfall, and I spawn inside a freaking mountain. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Goodness. I'm just trying to find this. Oh, my game fucking crashed. I knew something was yeah, up. I was like, that, no, that's not it. That's not me. That's them. It's happened before where somebody else's game crashed and then my game crashed. Yeah, because they're the host. That makes sense. Yep. That's my sign. That's my sign. I wasn't supposed to hope them. When I, you notice when I started, uh, Seeing that he was glitching and shit, that's when it that's when it crashed. When I saw him go through the ground and I saw his samples inside a cage where I know it shouldn't be in a cage, yeah. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! Oh, you can go fuck yourself on that one. That's all you. I, I all I tried to do was help you, motherfucker. And you you fucking glitched the whole shit, the whole fucking mission. I had knocked all that shit out. I had to launch codes and everything, and I was about to launch the missile. And this motherfucker fucked it up. Fucked it up. Cheating, cheating, cheating. I don't know what the fuck he doing. Maybe his internet ain't right. He need to get that shit right. I want to have the sound on for the Elgato, but the Elgato keeps freezing. I just want to give you guys a nice small, not long, a small upgrade, uh, update on my uh, Rise of the Ronin and what's going on. Because I know I haven't posted a lot of content. I mean, I, I have streamed uh, about two times on Twitch. And the reason why I stream on Twitch is because you guys, you guys do not watch this shit. If I stream on YouTube, you guys are not going to watch me play no games. Wait, what's wrong with your Rise of the Ronin? Giving them an update on where I'm at, my level, my skills, my swords, my proficiency. Some people don't know how far I am. It's not a trophy heavy game, so I think I only have eight trophies in total. So some people might like, oh, you're not playing that shit? Yeah, I'm playing the fuck out of it. I think I got five, either five or six areas or 100%. I think it's like five or six. I gotta go count it. I clean. I clean house, but there's still those two secret. Uh oh, let me do the auto save. It's still those two secret um caves with those hidden boss battles inside of them that I haven't gone back to. Shit. Okay. 
I like this sword. I really do. But I've been using... Uh, I'm going to be trying to use... No, it's not this stance. It's this stance. This is the stance I like. And I think I'm going to be doing a mission. Like, just a little private mission. I got to find this dude so I can level up the proficiency of the sword. So I can use a different type of attack. So, some of your attacks... You gotta have to do certain quest to unlock just a normal attack or a little special attack for a, a specific type of weapon. Uh, it really do keep you on this game because you know, yeah, you can have that sword and use it a lot, but you might not be able to truly uh, use all the attacks and stuff. So let me go count out the areas that are one hundred percent. We got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got ten areas that are one hundred percent. So y'all, y'all see, y'all know me, man. When I play an open world game, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna check, check it off. Uh, I need to go back over here. This is eighty-three percent, and there's an area right here that's like 91 percent and all i really got to do is check this building out but they won't let me do the building so i'm guessing it's story related and then i need to find one more cat and one more treasure chest in this area and i'll 100 percent complete this i'm level 15 by the way and these are my stats and this is what my character looks like Looks like a, a English general with all black on. He's dope. Got black boots too. Call me Captain Black Boots. But uh, I fucks with the game, man. It's a it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Lots of different fighting styles. Lots of different weapons to use. It's it's interesting. That's, that's 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 what I want. That's what I want. What you call it? I want ghosts to have more weapons. Cause he's no longer he's no longer samurai. Like he's he's doing he's, he's no longer technically a samurai. Yeah, you're right. That'll be nice. We'll have to see. I believe even May or June we're gonna have the PlayStation Showcase. So. We'll see what uh, Ghost of Tsushima is about. If it's still going to have Jen, or if time has gone past and the mantle gets passed on to somebody else. Uh, but we'll see whatever they choose oh, to I do. I don't mind having someone else instead of... Oh, yeah, exactly. But, you know, when it comes to sequels, you, you, you there's, there's two. There's two types to do. Like, you continue with the same character and time has passed. Or time has passed so severely... That the mantle has got passed on to a new character, and it's, it might be Ghost with a subtitle with somebody else. Either way, uh, I trust Sucker Punch to do the right thing. They, I, I don't think they're gonna do anything bad. Um, oh, I'm really interested to see do some stuff is Ubisoft. I'm interested. Why to see Ubisoft? Because they're copying off a of Ghost, and I'm interested to see if it's gonna oh, be good or not. Yeah. <laughs> So I think they're showing theirs off this summer as well. So that'd be interesting. Wait, they're showing off a Silent Creed Red this um this summer. Yep, during their Ubisoft showcase. Okay, maybe we'll get a release date. Finally. Yeah, I mean, see if it's actually any good. It it might have to be a holiday unless they're gonna push it to like next year, because I know that the the Star Wars game that they're putting out is in August. So. I don't know. Like if there, if 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 the Assassin's Creed comes out this holiday and and, and Star Wars is like at the end of August, the hype from Assassin's Creed is gonna kill the Star Wars game. So I don't know if they thought that out. I don't know. Star Wars, Star Wars is actually a bigger IP than Assassin's Creed. Yeah, but it's not a lot of fanfare for this specific video game. You see what I'm saying? It's more a lot of boycotting. Maybe they don't know that. <laughs> Maybe oh, they know that. 
they have over a hundred thousand dislikes on the, the primary video. They they're well aware. God damn, that yeah. much. They're they're yeah, they're well aware. I think it's way more than that now because that was Friday, and it's Sunday now. Damn. Let me see. Are these Shouldn't bad guys? So what do you more. do? Uh, do you use guns at all? Do I? Oh yes. On oh, rise around it, yeah. Yeah, I, I like, I like to shoot people's all, heads off. That's what I'm doing right now. Hey, it's, a, it's funny as hell, man. Cause I saw this dude. This dude was um freaking chasing after me, um chasing after me, bro. And I just turned and shoot him in the head, bro. Okay, that's <laughs> it, buddy. That's it. That's it. I told you it was it. Oh, yes. Leveled up off of that one. Got a perfect parry. Leveled up. Nice. I've noticed that the key to leveling up proficiency is uh, counter sparks. So parrying somebody could be oh, the key, really? to, yeah, key to you leveling up or getting a more proficiency. And it's sad because it, acts, it has absolutely no fucking... It, it, it has nothing to do with how many people you kill. Like, you, you're you getting experience to get a skill point based on the people you kill. But based on leveling up, it goes under a completely different rule. And it's very strange to me. But it is something that I'm learning, but I don't like. I'm just wondering that because I'm, I'm killing so much, but I'm not leveling up. I'm, I'm, but then randomly, I will level up. I'm like, okay. And I'm wondering, does the level even matter? Like, cause I like if I'm putting the skills, the skill points behind like strength and stuff, and I don't level up, th does me leveling up, up my attacker or anything? I still don't know those answers. I don't. I. I it, it gives you more health. I know that much. It gives you more health when you level up. You gain more health and um and defense when you level up. Hmm. That's the one thing I've noticed. I just don't know if it does anything. Was there somebody else in this corner? I heard somebody say something. Oh, um, did you get the scanner thing yet? The scanner? It's kind of like an echolocation. It scans the uh, surrounding area so you know where the bad guys are. <laughs> that's actually an interesting thing but no yeah i've been playing a lot bro <laughs> so that's on the, that basically you unlock that on a side mission that i had access to the whole fucking time and the dude with the camera i finished a couple more of his missions and he allowed me to upgrade different techniques and stuff like for my uh the he i can increase the speed of my glider and also it, it'll take less wow. stamina when I glide now. There's skill for that though, like <laughs> my God. Yeah, it's, okay. there, it's crazy, man. It's really crazy. It's a lot it's a lot that they don't tell you on this game. No, they're very quiet on the information though. <laughs> yeah. Like right now, like I'm 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 just running around here. And the reason why I'm running around is trying to find a like a submission so that I can unlock some shit <laughs> uh, to find out where the rest of the fucking cats are. You know, and I don't know where the rest of the cats are, but I'm pretty sure they're around here somewhere. Okay, so I open this door. And so what this door leads me to what? Oh, it leads me to the other area. Oh, so I'm going to the other area. No, I don't want to go to the other area. I pushed the door open like I was on fucking Dark Souls. No, I'm not going to that area yet. I need to finish this area first. Yeah, we good. Let me just finish this area first, because... A little glitchy glitch there. Almost fell through the shitty ass house right here. 
it's a good open world for them, you know? For their first attempt at an open world, I think it's not bad. It could be much better. What they I need, really they, need, they, they, they definitely need to upgrade the engine if they're going anywhere open world though. Yeah, and, and this is my thing, right? And I know Sony doesn't have like an unlimited amount of employees, but keep the you got the game exclusive, right? Then just call them. Call them to help you, man. You know? Like you don't have to do yeah. it. If they have more knowledge on what makes a good game open world or what makes a good open world game, then just ask them for guidance. You know? Because if you don't, it's like it's pointless the working fact that with them. Said, The fact that you actually use um you you use the, um, Ghost of Tsushima as a reference, contact that t- contact the team. <laughs> you know what I mean? Since you since you you're working with Sony, contact the team and you know. You know I mean? just shot both of these dudes' heads off from across the pond. Literally across the pond. There we go. Hey, them rifles, hey, them rifles, them rifles go, go, go the distance, man. Yeah, my shit powerful as fuck. I think it's doing like one fifty six damage. My 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 rifle, my rifle is one oh five. Is it one fifty six? No, it's 146. My bow and arrow is 212. You know me. Why use a bow and arrow? Oh, because you got to <laughs> Because the arch. It's an arch sometimes. And sometimes it feels like it's weaker. Sometimes. Let me see. Is it enemies over here? The bad guys over here? Where am I at? Oh, I want I wandered into the next area without knowing. Oh wow. Yeah, it's a map. It definitely is a map, but it's much smaller than what people might think. Okay. <laughs> no, not today, buddy. That's a beautiful headshot. Great, kill you. Now I only got two bow and arrows left, so okay, I got y'all two out the way on the docks. Stealth, stealth, stealth. Ah, kill you. Got two out of two. Are you do they let do they let you change your weapons in the middle of battle? They do? Okay. Yeah. Let me go switch. I finally got a revolver. Like a handgun. <laughs> yeah. I got it from that side mission also. I got that and a flamethrower from the side mission. So I might set these dudes on fire. I might set the dog on fire. Oh, I hate the dogs. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. It's it's not shooting far. You think it's shooting far, but it's really not.
Okay, that should be dead. Yep, they just burned it off. Whoo, that was a nice one. Flamethrower came in clutch, especially when they charge you. <laughs> I didn't even know that those, those weapons were in there. That's that's interesting. Sides, you gotta do the side quest for the picture dude. He uh, you he'll beat it back there with a side quest, and just do that. And I know he's giving me some uh, special missions out. So basically, uh, there's some special missions where I need to go to an area and take uh, pictures of whatever he wants me to take a picture of, and then you can trade that in. So that you can um, use that as currency to upgrade or buy special equipment. You might have some rare gloves or you know armor for you that that I'm trying to work up to. It's a they've they've got the fundamentals of an open world game, right? You got to do this to get that. It's not bad, but um, you know, it could be better. Yeah. Oh, there's that treasure chest. Nice big treasure chest. What am I gonna find? A book. And you need a um like I th you need a certain number of books to unlock some of the stuff that he got. And I know that I need ten books because I got five books. And then when I get ten books, I'll be able to like level up more of the gear and stuff. It's dope, man. I've been on this bitch. Definitely, I've been on here. Ah, oh, shit. How did I miss that jump? Oh, I need to start. I, okay, I gotta do a Spider-Man shit. There we go. Gotta do the Spider-Man jump. Okay, I got another shrine. That's not bad. Got the whole shit out the way right here, so. I didn't even know. I I didn't even know I made it to the new area. That's that's crazy. I'm going to see if I can use a skill point to level something up. I really want to get the Beastmaster maxed out so I can uh, turn these animals against their master. Oh shit, I might be able to get it. Beast Whisper, there it is. Yup. Sneak up. From behind and press triangle to tame your uh, tame them as your ally to calm them down. Okay, now I'm a beast, beast whisper. Good, that'll work. That's what I'm talking about. Jay looks like Blade. <laughs> I do look like Blade, don't I? <laughs> That's crazy. I look I look like Blade. I look like a better Blade than the Blade video game. Ain't that funny? That is funny. <laughs> I did not notice that shit. <laughs> Let's go take a look at where number five is. I'm going to do this showdown. Fight this fugitive. Oh, shit. I'm gonna fucking kill this dude real quick. Hopefully. Let's see. I just want to switch out. this ok 
capacity is six. The capacity for this shit is fucking five. Five bullets? Okay. I think I've upgraded some stuff, that's why. It looks like that. Oh, five is over this hill. I'm nowhere near five. Maybe I can sneak up on him and kill him. That would be nice. Oh shit. Okay, little fucker. Oh, that's it. Oh, nice. Where the other dude go? You want to fight? Where did he go? Okay, I don't know where he went. I know the dude down there got to be tough. Okay. Let's see. Easy. 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 Ho <laughs> ho Snuck up on you, huh? <laughs> that was the easy one. He's just standing out in the open in broad daylight. You're asking for it. You say he was standing up there in broad daylight? Oh, yeah. He was underneath a tree, and I snuck up on him and shot him in the head multiple times. Then when he ran at me, I shot him in the head, and he fell, and then I did a finisher while he was on the ground. And that is all she wrote. And that was a fugitive? Yeah, that was a fugitive. I'm I'm pretty high. I'm level sixteen now, so I, I'm not like I got some good moves too. I'm not uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how how are you a fugitive when you just hang out in the open, bro? Like like no one's gonna hey, come up to you. Sometimes I do that shit. <laughs> See, if, depending on the way I would have came, uh, maybe just maybe he would have been able to surprise me. There was some bandits hey. nearby. Hey Jeff, how many how many player AI have you found? Have you fought? Oh, a lot of them. Probably like five or more. Yeah, every time I see those dudes, I try to kill them. <laughs> yeah, I got no... Yeah, I ain't doing that. Oh, guess what? There's another gun... Uh, What is it? A gun range? Oh, yeah. I did the first gun range and got perfect. And then I did the uh, riding challenge. You gotta ride your horse and shoot the targets. Where is... Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I'm doing everything. Which kind of sucks because now, you know, Final Fantasy is on the back burner. Even though <laughs> I'm ready to go to another area on there, but it's just. God uh, damn. Too many games and Stellar I mean, Blade coming I mean, out soon. I'm going to have a good a summer, game. though. I got a good summer of backlog games to finish up on, so. I'm doing good. Stellar Blade is like a week. Stellar Blade is a week away, so we. <laughs> yeah, that's not a lot of time. <laughs> Look at that, man! I'm doing good. Okay, my attack is what's that? Enhancement until the next stat increase. Oh, okay, so I need to do two more enhancements until I get the next stat increase. Okay, I get it. I get that part. Gives you the option to persuade your interlocutor. Okay, no. Mm -hmm. I 
after a successful execution of a headshot with the with your rifle increases the maximum Kai damage you can deal to enemies in the vicinity. Oh, that's actually good. I actually like that one. That's pretty dope. Character points. Increases the amount of money earned for completing a mission. Okay. Okay. Do I have anything else I can wait? Xbox, Xbox guys have lost the plot. If we want our games to be at 60 FPS, we have to play on PC. Wow. <laughs> wow. Then, then playing on PC would not just. Would not mean you're not. That's crazy, <laughs> bro. That doesn't even mean shit, bro. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> that means absolutely nothing. And what's the point of having the freaking Xbox then, bro? What the Damn, I just leveled up big time. Oh, wow. Now I'm doing... I'm doing, um... 200... I'm doing 285 attack. And um, my stagger oh, wait, is 230. Wait, wait you, have, you have the numbers on? No, I just check. When you go to your, um... When you go to your stats underneath the little the little um chart thing on the left side underneath it shows what you're what you're doing. It shows okay. what your luck is, it shows all of that information. Yep. All of it's right there, your defense, all of that. And depending on what you're upgrading in certain areas uh your stuff would be it is like dark souls but the stats are different and they're found in different spots it's it's a little you know it's a word that's somatic easy use it's a little convoluted you know it's, it's it's cluttered you know definitely cluttered because not you're not always gonna know where this stuff is it should be on one page but it's split up again uh across four different pages it's not bad, but it took me until now to fucking see it. So, not something I like, but let's go see what armor I picked up. Not Probably nothing strong. I'm, surpri I'm surprised they didn't, I'm surprised they didn't give, you, um, give me a, a choice for having all, all gold slots taken off. Oh, they didn't? Maybe they give you if it matches. You have any matching armor sets? Oh. You get a yeah, armor, got you got a stat got, boost for doing that. I got a bunch of mixed max, mixed max shit. Oh, well, check it out sometimes. So sometimes when you're looking at um at your armor, it'll be like a little uh partner sign or symbol or whatever. It's gold, and it'll say number of pieces equipped zero. You know, and then if you equip that piece, and then you equip, equip another piece of that same type, you will start to get uh, status boost bonuses yeah it's pretty dope yeah none of this stuff i'm not seeing none of this stuff right here okay yeah i'm definitely like putting those perks on for boosting my experience that's just definitely working because i've been getting a lot of experience lately so I'm just running around right now, leveling up. Make sure I'm I'm overpowered like I like to be, you know. Gotta do it. Damn, what, bro, what, what, getting there. What 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 perk gives you that um gives that XP boost? That's interesting. Um, you have to read the different equipment let me let me show you so it's a oh, talisman it's always, it's always, always equipment yeah it's it's over there and the talis the accessories you need to read the accessories okay. if it says uh karma acquisition that's the experience 
It goes up to get oh. you a skill point. Yep. So that's what you, you need to do. Um, encyclopedia. Combat. I know I got a... Don't I got a new... Don't I got a new thing? Okay, I know I know about that. Bond. All right, Jay. All right, Jay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead off and play some um, play some Final Fantasy. Man. Okay, man. Mm -hmm. Bye. I'm about to get up out of here too. It's almost six thirty, so I can do these timestamps and uh, edit this video before I fucking forget about it. Let's see. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to remember how I changed my rank. Uh, Ronin Bond, Wandering Swordsman Bond, level one. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be leveling that up though. I, all of this, it's weird because all of the stuff I've done, you expect me to like be super powerful and stuff, but. It's like you have to do specific things to level up specific things. And it's very annoying. Um, it is very annoying. It's very confusing. And I'm trying to do it the right way. I really am. But it's like, it's like ah. I'm getting there, though. I'm getting there. But playing this in ray tracing mode with that, uh, the frame rate off, you definitely can see that I got a much higher frame rate. And I can tell that that's just coming through as 30 frames on the stream, which sucks. But it's definitely not 30 on my TV. And that's a nice little trick. Uh, take the, the frame rate limit off. And play this in ray tracing mode and turn everything else off. And you're going to get a nice resolution and quite possibly a very good frame rate. That's what I've been doing since early last week when somebody told me about that. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, everybody, it is 630. I'm getting up out of here. You may see me on Helldivers helping people. If you need help on Helldivers, get in contact with me before fuck i fucking did it again I, I made a new save this is a game where you need to save but then it's, it it believes it's a souls game so it does an auto save and then every time you try to start the game it'll remind you that you're about to start the game over top of an auto save because on souls games you start on an auto save and you don't do a manual save it is Again, this game, sometimes I feel like the game doesn't know what it wants to be. <laughs> like, for real. It, sometimes I feel like the game doesn't know what it, it wants to be. So, and I've saved all this stuff and I can't delete it. I got to delete it from the settings menu of the PlayStation 5, which makes it even more annoying. And I need to go do that. Shit. That is fucking annoying. So, the game still annoys me. Ever since the first day I, I live streamed it. It's still fucking annoying. But uh, that's the way they wanted to make the game. Can't stop them. But. Save data. Upload or delete console storage. Man, let me get that. Nope. I don't want to delete. I don't want to delete everything. I just want to delete specific saves, and I don't know how to do that. Not gonna delete the entire yeah. save. So I guess I have to go back into the game to do that. Okay. I'll check it out later. Um Okay everybody. Have a good night. Um uh, like I said, you will see me around the gaming world between today and Tuesday morning. 
if I get on Tuesday morning. Uh, but there won't be any streams this week. So no stream on Tuesday or Thursday. I'll be back in town. I think I get back on Friday or something like that. So you quite possibly you see me on Saturday and Sunday and next weekend. Okay. So you guys have a great week. I assume <laughs> since I'll be out of town and won't be able to cover any major news that it would be very interesting if some breaking news happens. So I expect some breaking news to fucking happen. <laughs> I just don't know what that breaking news would be, but it would sound familiar for some red alert to happen that I can't cover. So look out for that. If you see anything, let me know. You guys got my contact information. I'll be con uh, communicating with you guys through the community section. So there will be some updates in the community section. I'll be talking to you through there. Everybody have a great rest of the weekend, and I hope you have a great week.